understand everything, but I can say I'm pr plenty confused. Did a compi just knock my jeep back? What the what happened there? Oh my god. Holy crap, guys. The 30th anniversary edition. Oh my god. I used to play this game, the this edition of the game. I still have my book back there. Look at this. Can you This is unbelievable. At least he's enclosed. <laughs> oh my god, we get the Battle of the Titans. It's the T-Rex versus the uh, Triceratops. At least until T-Rex gets tranked. These guys have got a hell of a show. Oh, sorry, Jeb. Did I forget the minor matter of the parachute? Ah, missed. Gotcha. Oh, you faked me out. Rude. No blaster? Your move. <laughs> oh my god. I love it. So uncivilized. There we go. Commander, contact your troops. Tell them to move to the higher levels. Very good, sir. The time has come. <laughs> it might seem strange, but it'll keep her safe from time fall and chiral contamination while allowing her to breathe. Excuse me. I apologize for your impending death, Jeb. Oh, wait, he's actually climbing. What the hell? Well, so much for that. <laughs> what is this? She's ignoring it. <laughs> We ready? Happy New Year! There we go. And I even have champagne to toast. Goodbye, 2021. Sorry, dude. It was you or us. I picked us. Um.
tornado outbreak. Great. Just what we needed. A fast-moving line of storms gallop across the darkening summer sky with tornadoes ominously forming underneath. We're certainly getting a tour of the variety of natural disasters that can happen in the game. All of your family loses 15 opinion of King Sancho II. <laughs> Ends King Sancho II's scheme to murder you. I have been captured and detained against my will by King Sancho. I am no longer free to return to my home or travel as I wish. This is going great. This is fantastic. Wooden barracks constructed in Mayo. I would normally want to build wooden barracks in the earth rather than in mayonnaise, but, you know, construction techniques were a little more primitive back then. You gotta make allowances. <laughs> A glorious battle it was. Oh, sorry, sir. I didn't mean to do that. Back off. You really don't want to be standing there. Nadine. I'm giving you the count of five. Five. Four. Three. Two. One. Thank you. <laughs> You're the one that helped me find it. People make mistakes. You have to forgive Aaron. He's discovered the far future version of Spotify. Hopefully, I can just kind of circle around the island here. Because I need a boat to get to the neighboring island anyway. Which I think is close enough that you can use these smaller ones. I could just go on foot and see if there's another boat I can use. Because we are going to have to go for the silly death, obviously. Good afternoon, everybody, and welcome back to the Library of Lore. Today, we're going to be doing some more Starfield, and I think we're going to maybe try to do a little bit of the main story, but we're mostly going to probably focus on the Free Star Collective stuff. Uh, okay. Hang on a second. Where did I put the game? Here we go. <clears throat> this game has been absolutely consuming my life, and I'm looking forward to getting back to this particular playthrough as well, because... Oh, uh, hang on. Let me switch scenes. There we go. I've been looking forward to getting back to this particular playthrough, because... Particularly yesterday, I came to a number of realizations about game systems that, you know, it just, for whatever reason, it took a while. Now level 17. Okay, so we're recovering some progress. So I have a much better understanding of how gear, like equipment tiers work. So weapons, spacesuits, helmets, packs, etc. So uh, it'll be interesting to keep an eye on that from an earlier point in the game and see how it progresses. Hammer, how are you doing? Raven, welcome back in. Winters, what's going on? I hope everyone's having a fantastic day today. I think that's far enough. Right. <laughs> I forgot about this. Ahead of Akila's own prodigal son. At least not before we've had a word. You must be Shaw. What I am is disappointed. 
Samco in the flesh, and he's peddling around the frontier with the has-beens of Constellation. Now you got past my crew, who I pay quite handsomely, I might add. Grabbed something from that weird cave. Probably whatever's been keeping the Ashto away. So, I'm down one hideout. Now, let's talk about what all that's worth to me. Hey, your Adstara, lives, how's it going? Your credits. One or the other, really. I'd forgotten we were right at this point. We can work this out. No need for violence. Oh, really? Let's hear it. Back to work? Uh, that sucks. This is an important scientific discovery. Let us go and you'll be in the history books. Don't bullshit me, Constellation. Let's try Auto Persuade. We've got this option all nice and colored in here. Saying I should cut my losses. Hmm. <laughs> Fine. Get the hell out of here before I change my mind. I see you again. You're dead. You. This is your fault. You better lend us a hand. Fine. Okay. I will get the extra XP. What the heck? Why not? Remind me to upgrade my gun as well. I'm used to having 30 rounds. You're lucky the boss is so generous. Oh, this smells part of the job. I guess it's all a luck-based thing with auto persuade, like auto pick in oblivion. Yeah, probably. Did you see the news today? I haven't had a chance to actually read it myself, but speaking of oblivion. Apparently some Microsoft data was leaked and among the things it indicates is that Oblivion is getting a remaster. I figure there might be a few people around here who might find that interesting to know about. Thank you, Unstar. I will try to keep that in mind. Uh, also, I am shocked that this has occurred, but it would seem that I am over encumbered. What are you still doing here? I guess I owe you something for dealing with the Ashta. Take it and get lost. Oh. Modified Razorback added. Okay. Thank you, ma'am. I know. It's so weird. Who'd have thought? <laughs> what a funny idea, since modders have basically been doing that for years. Ah, but just imagine if they do... I mean, it would be a lot more extensive. I don't know how realistic it is to expect this. But if they were to do, like, a proper remaster, like a real intensive remaster, and did it in Starfield's engine, that could be pretty amazing. Man, how much am I actually carrying? Let me take a quick look at my gear here. Bolstering, weapon holsters, mechanized, so it does give me extra carry capacity. Okay, I don't have the bonus oxygen recovery. That might be the difference here. And yes, indeed, I am. Are 
we really here to antagonize the Ashda? scanned. <clears throat> I bought the anniversary edition of Skyrim, so I clearly don't object to the concept. Convenient as mods are, it's more convenient to just install the game. I am firmly 100% in favor of all remasters all the time, just because the video game industry has a very serious preservation problem and remasters they don't solve the problem but they help with the problem a lot over time because you have no idea how many games have just disappeared completely forever from like you know the I want to say the early 80s, but really, just the 80s in general. Early, mid, late 80s, Let's get back in the, the 90s. There's just all kinds of stuff that you're never going to see or play again because they just don't run on today's machines. And at this point, source code has probably been completely lost as well. Enjoy, Reven. Yeah, there are a lot of Canadians that hang out in my channel. Perhaps unsurprisingly. in all its messy, gooey splendor. I don't remember if I even have a follow age command. Oh, what do you know? I have a follow age command. Six, wow. That's pretty darn close to seven years, Ben. Not bad. Speaking of, uh, what's the date today? The 19th. We are now officially less than one month away from my nine year stream anniversary on Twitch. October 18th, I will have been streaming for nine years which is really weird and bizarre to say, but there you go. Thank you, Ben. Oh, are we getting... I love it when it rains in Aquila. Let's get back inside. What the heck? Thank you, Anstara. Thank you so much. That is so kind. Maybe to celebrate, I'll finally replace these alerts that I don't love so much. <laughs> I like the idea behind the alerts, I just don't love the way that I was able to execute them. I need to do something better. <clears throat> this is weird. It feels weird to me. Maybe I'm too used to my other character or something. But it feels like the over-encumbrance is way more punishing on this character. And I'm wondering if it really is that, you know, the, the difference in the armor. I think it's got to be. I'm just running out of oxygen so much faster than I do on the other one. My other character can run forever with, or not literally forever, but for a really, really long time while over encumbered and have to stop eventually. But it's definitely not this quickly. Like, this is less than a minute.
Yeah, I think it goes without saying, uh, speaking of ways to celebrate the anniversary, I will definitely be doing a super long stream. I don't know that I'll necessarily be doing the super long stream on the 18th. I'll have to take a look at the schedule and see when that falls. But I will definitely do one. No, not 24 hour. I never do 24 hour streams. 16, 17 hours, maybe. 24, no, not happening. Just keep going. I wonder if we're close enough to the ship at this point. Uh oh. I don't know what it is, but the last day or two, I've been suffering from some pretty severely increased instability in the game. And for whatever reason, it seems to be at its worst in and right around Tequila City. So let me just wait a moment. I'm going to have to get Starfield going again. It's gotten to the point where in my other save, I actually just fast travel back to my ship whenever I, whenever I can, uh, if I'm in Aquila City, because it really likes to crash right in that same area that I'm in there. Unfortunately, right now, I don't have that option because I am too overburdened but let's see if the save game it crashed just as it was trying to auto save let's see if we manage to oh, oh that's a bad sign that's my other game that means it probably has not saved at all oh wait wait no wait 7.12 p.m. Oof. I think we have to auto-persuade and do the Ashta battle again and then try to get all the way back. Maybe I'll see if I can offload a bit of gear onto What's-His-Face. I keep forgetting that companions can act as uh, pack mules. You'd think I'd be used to it from Fallout and Skyrim, but it still just does not come naturally. Uh, Sam, where are you? Oh, there you are. Won't lie. My heart's... I'll carry anything you need. Well, within reason. Okay. Uh, I'm going to need some of that back, Sam. Okay. You know, for all that I like to carry the ad these advanced AA99s around, and advanced is a tier, I've discovered, so that's interesting. Um... I don't think I've ever actually tried using one of these. Ashda Tamer. Wow. That's pretty good damage. What is this? It's a heavy weapon of some sort. Refined Rattler. Wow, I'm already starting to get some of the better uh, tiers of equipment. And this is only level 17? Calibrated Equinox. Radioactive boosted calibrated rattler. I don't really use the slug weapons, but I've got some decent ones. Thank you, yeah, Sam. I was done too. Okay. 
Greeny, what the heck? How are you doing, Greeny? 52 months. That's amazing. Thank you so much. How are things going? I hope uh, I hope things are looking a little 52. bit 52. Getting up there. Good day to you, fine sir. I hope you are well. Going pretty well. Uh, just had a bit of a game crash, unfortunately, so I lost my progress, which was maybe 20 minutes of progress. So we have to redo a conversation and a battle, and hopefully not as long a trudge back, because I just remembered that I can dump a lot of my excess cargo onto my companion here so that he can carry it for me. But, uh, yeah, so... I'm, I'm discovering that Starfield has a little bit of a stability problem in a particular city that I have to pass through to get back to my ship, which is unfortunate. Although now, actually, now that I'm not overburdened, I might be able to just fast travel back. So there's that. How are you doing, Greeny? I hope things are looking better today. I think that's far enough. Hate to put a hole Excellent, Greeny. I will keep my fingers crossed. At least not before we've had a word. Yeah, you I know the feeling. Sure. What I am is disappointed. Samco in the flesh and he's peddling around the frontier with the has-beens of Constellation. Now you got past my crew, who I pay quite handsomely, I might add. Grabbed something from that weird cave. Probably whatever's been keeping the Ashta away. So, I'm down one hideout. Now... Let's talk about what all that's worth to me. Your lives, your credits. One or the other, really. Ooh, Greeny, ouch. That's not fun. I'm just short on sleep, but uh, yeah, I can imagine you're kind of hurting there. I hope it goes well. Oh, really? Let's hear it. This is an important scientific discovery. Let us go, and you'll be in the history books. Huh. The Shaw Gang's name in print outside a wanted poster does sound nice. Auto-persuade. Saying I should cut my losses. Hmm. <laughs> Fine. Get the hell out of here before I change my mind. I see you again. You're dead. This is your fault. You better lend us a hand. Oh, fine. If you insist. Hmm? It's too hot here. Okay. Grab everything useful. That's the plan. You're lucky the boss is so generous. Yep. You guys are actually the lucky ones, but okay. I guess I owe you something for dealing with the Ashta. Take it and get lost. Okay, actually, let's try fast travel from here. Where are we? We are out here. Yes, okay. So that neatly bypasses the Ashta city itself, or the um, Aquila city. Aquila city itself. Word so one, hopefully please. it won't be too bad. Let's get back to the lodge. Okay. Actually, that's probably a good idea, because I've got like three artifact pieces, and I have not gone back. Ok, 
Okay, here we are. Aquila City. Back to Alpha Centauri. Wait, what? It doesn't want to let me just land directly. Interesting. I wonder if I have contraband that I've forgotten about. Yep, I do. What contraband? You saw nothing. Be advised, you are entering United Colony space. Please maintain course and prepare to be scanned. Oh. Oh, crap. Oh, that's a problem. I have contraband that apparently is not in the cargo hold. I'm going to try something real quick. Welcome. Nope, hang on. Hold that thought. I'm not ready for the scan just yet. Inventory. There it is. Now, is there anything under aid? Because sometimes they slip in here, too. No, okay, we should be good. Do you see space? Maintain your current course while we scan your ship's cargo. No, it still says it was... Oh, 59%, okay. Scan complete. Go ahead and land. Whew. I was kind of worried there. <laughs> so I must have picked up an entire cache of contraband or something. Alright, let's see what's going on back here. It's been a bit. Oh, mom and dad are here. Hey, we're back. Now this, it was this of our little is history. Really pulled through for us. Would you look at is this? Is anyone hurt? You didn't let Cora handle the artifact, did you? We don't know what effects it might have on someone her age. I'm planning a grocery Relax. run later. I hope you don't mind, but I figured the lodge was just a mat stop away. I just had to see it. Oh, this place is everything I imagined. Do you know I dreamt of joining Constellation when I was a girl? You have hidden depths, Mom. I don't know if I go that far. But I'll let your father talk before he bursts. I was playing poker with the Dean of Engineering, and he had this collectible revolver framed. And when he heard you were in Constellation, well, we worked together to get the piece clean and restored. She fires beautifully now. We, uh, uh, took turns sighting it at the range. <laughs> I swear, your father was acting like a school kid. <clears throat> As I was saying, may I present to you Sir Malcolm Livingston's personal sidearm. All the special modifications just as he left him. He was chair of Consolation about, uh, 50 years ago. Anyway, it's yours. Sir Livingstone's pistol added. I don't know what to say. I'll treasure it. I hope it keeps you safe. If not, maybe get a good place for it on a mantle. Not well, a bad idea. We'll let you get back to it. But, uh, Miss Noel said we could look around a little first. Excellent. Well, you're in for a show. You were worried. Why? Was oh, I forgot we had that Andrea. I would not contribute to the mission? No, of course not. We thought you might be hurt. Oh, no well. your father visited. He right? seemed desperate. Or excited to find you. He left a note. 
actually Mr. Cookies. What type? <laughs> I make a mean snickerdoodle. <laughs> yes, I um think that would be quite all right. <laughs> oh my God. Oh, I. So now we know the secret to joining you, Constellation: bring cookies. Not necessary. We succeeded. Just what are we building here? I haven't picked up any kind of frequency or signal coming from it. That doesn't mean much. This thing could be emitting something we can't even detect. As far as we know, we could be building a gigantic bomb that will blow up as soon as we finish it. That's or a comforting thought. Some kind of interstellar children's toy. Why would either of those things give the discoverer visions and music? It's a message. I'm sure of it. We just have to hope that finding more of the pieces will give us some clue. Okay, while we're here, actually, I'm going to go visit. I think Cora and I can use some downtime, but you let me know if you ever want to team up again. Sounds good, Sam. Oh, and since it tends to come up, me and my rugrat co-pilot work as a team. That's non-negotiable. If I'm coming with, that means Cora's on your ship. No problem. Catch you later, Sam. Likewise. You know where to find us. Mateus clearly never interacted with children if he doesn't know why visions and music and children's toy would work perfectly together. He had an unusual upbringing, okay? Oh, I don't really... Oh, shoot. Sam still got all my excess inventory. Sam, where'd you go? I know everyone's excited by the He was right here. To be as objective as possible and be aware of the Oh, there you are. Hi, good to see you. You want me to carry something for you? Other way around. Ah, so Sam's a tombstone kind of guy. Sit then. I actually don't know all that much about Mateo's life. Advancing the stories had me interacting with various members, but not him yet. Interesting. And then I got distracted playing Skyrim again. Oh man, I don't know how you can go back to Skyrim while the addiction to Starfield is still firmly in play. I haven't thought about Skyrim or Fallout 4 except as a comparison to this. Uh, no, not that. Actually... I'm gonna take all of that. We're gonna put some of this... stuff here away, though. Never really got addicted to Starfield. It's neat, but you're more about fantasy than sci-fi. Ah. See, I love both, but sci-fi will always be my first love, so I tend to get a little more invested in Fallout and in Starfield than in Skyrim. Okay, we need to do the rounds of the shops. That's another realization that I'm happy I've made recently. And that is learning that there's really only two sections of New Atlantis. For all that it gives you four transit stops, three of them are in this same section of the city. 
So the commercial district, residential district, mass district, they're all they're all right here. They're all connected. Oh no, actually I forgot about that. You're right. There's three sections. There's also the well. Life in New Atlanta. Thanks for stopping by. What brings you in? Uh, let's see what you got no for problem. sale. Happy to serve. Okay, we can get rid of a little bit of stuff here. I don't really have a lot in the food department, do I? Gotta keep in mind that these UC battle meals, they boost your carry capacity. It's like the, you know, the grilled radstag in Fallout. Okay, so that didn't help enough. But that's okay. The Trade Authority. The, we're totally a legitimate business. Those guys tend to have a high amount of credits for selling. Yeah, they have. Yeah, they do. I, I've i gotten to the point where my starship in my other playthrough has like 80,000, or not 80, like 8,000 plus cargo capacity. So believe me, when I load it up and I'm way, like my ship is starting to get full and I go on a major selling run... I hit every single store on multiple star systems to get rid of it all. I love sci-fi, but I guess I tend to go more for the fantasy games over sci-fi games. Yep. Everybody has their, you know, you can love both, but you're always going to have the one that just hits a little bit different There's than the else. other. There's nothing. And for me, it's sci-fi. Only the finest collection of armaments in the settled systems. Okay. She also... Oh, she's actually a little low. Typically, I find she has twelve or 13,000 credits. That's interesting. Uh, okay, let's start by getting rid of all of the weapons that don't have a quality. Uh, we're not selling this. Suppressed Razorback. Okay, we're starting to... Oh, nope. Starting to run them a bit dry. There we go. I'm still slightly over. One little complaint I have about Starfield, and it's weird that it's not there, and I hope it comes in a patch, is modding for melee weapons. Fallout 4 had it in spades, which is why I find the lack so odd. That is... I, I never melee, so I hadn't noticed. That's interesting on Star. And that is surprising and kind of weird.
I would play the heck out of a good sci-fi game. Well, I play the heck out of a good fantasy game. I mean, I'm thoroughly addicted to Baldur's Gate as well. It is still, even though I find Starfield a little bit stickier as far as my attention span goes, Baldur's Gate is absolutely so far number one game of the year for me. There, there's no way that Starfield can take that. So much it's... I would actually think Starfield... You know what? I think I have to make it number three. I think Tears of the Kingdom might actually beat out Starfield for Game of the Year. I think it goes, for me right now, as of the games that I've played that have been released, Baldur's Gate number one, Tears of the Kingdom number two, and Starfield number three. But Tears of the Kingdom and Starfield are very close in my eyes. If you don't see what you want, feel free to ask. Oh, please, take a look. That said, I'm going to put way more hours into Starfield than either of those two over time. Uh, okay, let's... I'm gonna work backwards a little bit and actually buy some stuff. Do they have... Yes. Adhesives. Okay. Weapons. Suppressed Razorback can go. The Tombstones can go. Oof. She's already pretty close to done. Okay, I guess I can start working on some of the miscellaneous stuff. Not the digipix. And she's out of money. There we go. Thanks for coming in. Modded weapons in Fallout 4 were super cool. Nothing was funnier than having an electrified rocket powered baseball bat. The Nier games are arguably both sci-fi and fantasy, but a JRPG nonetheless, yes. Hope you're finding everything you need. Sea of Stars waiting for the Chrono Trigger esque JRPG mood Even to hit you. Is, uh... We definitely have to go to the well. Because I've still got that load of um I don't remember what they were called. It was a uh, Xenotech or something like that. Contraband, regardless. Contraband on board the ship that I need to offload. It was a fair amount of it, too, so I have to hope that even the Trade Authority has enough money to get rid of it. The Trade Authority has access to goods and services no one else does. No one. Be my guest. Okay, miscellaneous. Xeno warfare tech. That oh god. Okay. Uh, yeah, we're gonna have to make multiple trips. <laughs> well, I got rid of like half of it. <laughs> need anything else you know where to find us on the plus side I'm not overburdened anymore at least so there's that yeah you can't use the terminal for that though on star you have to go into the actual physical like you know in-person shop but any trade authority vendor will do contraband sales
You'd like your on-stream playthrough to not be interrupted? Yeah, I know the feeling. Mine's actually on a small delay right now. I was originally scheduled to play Baldur's Gate this afternoon, but I switched it back to Starfield because I've been hearing news reports about some minor issues with the PlayStation 5 version of it, and I just want to give them a bit of time to get that patched up. So we're probably not going to do Baldur's Gate until that's resolved. But then once it does, we'll get back to it. Man, the ship looks so weird with that color. It's not bad, though. I don't mind it. Captain, greetings. Oh god, now I have to learn the interior of this ship, too. I don't remember what's where. I just expanded recently, too, didn't I? What do we got here? This is a computer room or a control room. This looks like a science lab. Armory. Do I not have a... Where is my workshop? I must have a workshop. Oh, here's the workshop. Okay. Oh, back to this bridge. Oh, God. Or a uh, cockpit, rather. Okay. Now I can drop stuff off. Yeah, I probably should have left this in the container at the lodge, because I don't want to accidentally sell it. Wait, whoa, wait, whoa, 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 whoa. Why do I still have these in my art inventory? What the heck? Should we not have put those into the collection at the lodge, too? That's really weird. Well, we will leave the planet, and then we'll come back, and then I'll see about that. Uh, alright, so... Weapons... Packs... No. No, okay, that's, that's fine. Now, speaking of the ship... Okay, so we're up to 2,600. That's not a half bad carry capacity. So, we are going to go to the wolf system. And hit the den. Because that is a scan-free area where you can get to the trade authority. We've never been here? You are kidding me.
can't believe we haven't been here before. So it's a uh, it's a pleasant place. How about my foot up your ass, newsboy? That a big enough scoop for you? I really don't think that's appropriate talk coming from a vanguard pilot. That's exactly your problem. You don't think if you weren't such a lousy reporter, you wouldn't be stuck all the way out here. Wow. I mean, I guess maybe that's true, but uh, if so, you're just as stuck out here as I am. So what does that say? Oh, wow. You really do want me to kick your ass, don't you? All right, that's enough. Marquez is all right, I guess. She's going to be lucky to have me as a boss. Well, yeah. Why wouldn't I be? Oh, right. You haven't seen me fly. If you had, you'd know how good I am. Okay, I was expecting more of a... Okay, then. I try not to trade in gossip, but okay. if you have any verifiable information, I'm all ears. You seem a little out of place. Well, I certainly feel that way. The Vanguard pilots don't seem to want to associate with me. And I don't agree with Mr. Romack's views on the colony war. So there are few options left to me. You know, I really thought volunteering for this assignment was going to be the boost to my career that I was looking for. Now I suspect even SSNN has forgotten about me. I remember that mission, Ansara. I had the same one. Apparently I didn't get that mission here in this particular playthrough. I did it in my other one. You could always ask for a different assignment. I could, so long as I don't mind seeming like an abject failure. And I just know that the day after I leave, some giant story will break. That seems to be the way things go. Okay. Well, then. Holden, I Hello there. That you have a job Welcome to the Trade Authority. I'm Marcel, and if there's anything, anything I can do for you, please do let me know. Our stock may not be as vast as New Atlantis or Sidonia, but I will do my best to see that you leave here satisfied. And seeing as the Trade Authority is the only fully licensed operator for the den, I'm afraid your alternatives are, shall we say, slim. It is a pleasure to make your acquaintance, and I hope this and all future interactions are profitable for both of us. All right, Mr. Smug. By all means. Pretty much, Greeny, yes. He will handle any contraband sales that you need him to. Oh, except he doesn't have enough money. All right, then. I'll get rid of as much as I can. And then maybe he's got something I can buy that'll let me offload the last of the contraband. Nope, that's not going to do it. That's not going to do it at all. Uh, ooh, he's... That would do it. That would definitely do it. That's a very nicely upgraded Equinox. Refined Grendel. Very tempted. Let's 
See, he's got the nice medium scope and large battery. I can do the large battery upgrade, I'm sure, but I don't think I can do the medium scope yet. Oh, wait a minute. I'm already using a refined Equinox. So that would be... I would be downgrading. Never mind that. I will think on that. Thank you. Thank you, sir. Okay. You I guess we'll head over to Neon. Actually, you know what? I have a better idea. I don't know if I have the ability to install this yet, but I learned that there is... Oh. Whoops. I learned there's another component to the smuggler's life. It's not just about the shielded cargo. So let's go back to the den. Or sorry, not the den. Uh, the Red Mile. This guy made me feel like he was hitting on me, but there's not much in his conversation options. Yeah, I kind of get the same feeling. I think he's just slimy. He probably gives everybody that feeling, whether he intends to or not. Oh, that's Paradiso. Uh, probably not there. Where the heck is it? Is this the wrong system? Looks like it should be the right system. I Apparently I haven't been to the Red Mile in this playthrough either. That can't be true though. I've got the shielded cargo, so I have to have been there. What the heck? How is it already break time? Five minutes, guys. All right, I need to Google this. Porama 3. Okay, so the right star system, at least. There it is. It's only minus 18 game that's not extreme cold. My god. Tried living in Canada for a while. you've got the creds it's fairly extreme if you're naked but even a basic spacesuit should make you cozy yes yes indeed oh that's weird why do I not have these no it's fine it's okay <laughs> it's not bad I like that kind of weather all uh, right He's got a lot of different options. This is actually kind of nice. He 
Shielded cargo holds. Equipment there. Oh, ah. Okay, so I need points in Starship Design, but I can at least get this. I can get the single frequency scan jammer. It won't be as badass as what I've got in my other playthrough, but it's a lot better than nothing. So my odds of evading scans should now increase from 59% to 69%, which is very nice indeed. Actually, can I upgrade my fuel tanks? What have we got? The Titan 450s? Titan 450. Yeah, I think we can probably upgrade that a little bit. Looks like our best upgrade option will be the M40s. Oh, that's huge. Do I want to do that? Let's take a look at how that looks. Oh, it really doesn't want to attach to this, does it? Why does it not want to attach there? Oh, eh. Looks better than the other one did. Hang on a second here, though. Let me make sure I'm actually upgrading. I'm from a much warmer climate, and I'm okay with it, except for the bugs. Mosquitoes can go away. Fair. These are the 450s. They hold 110, so yes, that'll be an upgrade. Uh, but now it looks like the ads are about to start soon, and I badly need some additional coffee, so if you guys will bear with me, I'm going to be back in just a few minutes. Unlocked Eel Trap. Eels are a reliable source of food if not overfished. Unlocks more stuff. Requires shoreline. Do we have to? I don't love the prospect of eels. Oops. Not bad. <laughs> oh my god. I love it. Uh, really, really thirsty now. If only I could have a small drink of fresh water, I might have the strength to sail on. <laughs> oh, but I know there's nothing but ocean for miles and miles. If I could reach land, I might find water and some food. Fruit, maybe. Something to fight off the scurvy and help me get my strength back. Hmm, maybe some bananas. Oh, why do I torture myself like this? I might as well wish for some chicken and a big mug of grog for all the good it'll do me. <laughs> So we got here. Oh, how did I miss the donkey head? It's a donkey mask. I don't want to look like a jackass. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I know what you're thinking. So knock it off. <laughs> Push power button. Push auto nav button. Pull throttle. <laughs> Please buckle your seatbelt first. Buckle seatbelt. Done. Pull throttle. Your door is a jar. No, my door is a door. Close pod door. Done. 
people. Uh oh. <laughs> I was literally typing it. Gosh, Roger, it would appear you have met an untimely demise. With the explosive destruction of the Arcata, you become part of a fresh collection of space debris. <laughs> oh, serves you right. I was just about to run him over, too. What the hell? Oh, <laughs> oh boy. Oh boy. <laughs> Antwerps are on the endangered species list. They are rarely seen. Uh... That's funny. It bounced right off. You seem to have scared the Antwerp with your behavior. <laughs> You're obviously in no shape to continue the game. Oh my god. Well... Alera, I have a special task that would be perfect for you. However, I would just be signing your death warrant if I were to give it to you now. When you are more skillful, return to me and I may give it to you then. Perfect. So you're basically saying I'm an incompetent wreck. Thanks. <laughs> okay. That's it? Not even one star? I just brought you a damn antimatter bomb on my back, people. Wow. The only companionship I have on all of Dantooine. You live alone with this droid. He is a personal assistance droid. My husband was a genius at constructing droids. He made this one capable of taking care of me for the rest of my life. As the last legacy of my husband, for my own personal ease of mind, I need him back. His absence gnaws at me like a gaping wound. Wow, she really misses her droid, doesn't she? Please. <laughs> you will be safe there. <laughs> Hello there. <laughs> Your move. Oh my. I think I got him. Oh my god. <laughs> I did. I'm in the wagon, ready to go.
I'm out of the hole. First try. Kitchen. Ah. Food. Come here, dearie. <laughs> but that was unexpected. That was unexpected. <laughs> Magic from a time long forgotten. Remind me not to take a dump in that hole. Do you really have to make jokes? Yeah, it's in my contract. Oh, what do we have here? I have inventory space. Okay, sorry about that, guys. I am back. Where did we leave off? Ah, right. Okay, so these hold 110. I think we can do better. They actually only hold 150. Well, I guess we do what we can with what we got. Thank you, Anstara. Okay. Reduce mass or add engines. Uh, you know, I've got the funding. What engines have we got here? Oh, right. Okay, so we've already got some of the... We're Right, we're mid-upgrade. We're going from a Mun 2 to a Mun 3. Let's add a couple more a Mun 3s and then see if we can still afford to replace the remaining two a Mun 2 engines. That does not look like it's going to be a problem at all. While we're at it, what reactor have we got? R3000... Oh, that's the grab drive. Yeah, 20 power generated. Okay, so that's the 360T Stellarator. I doubt I'm going to be able to upgrade that without a few more improvements to my Starship design skill, which I don't believe I've actually got at all yet. Uh, reactor... 18... No, okay, so that's as good as it's going to get for the time being. How about the jump drive, though? The that that's the R three thousand grav. Also, as good as it's going to get for the moment. Shields, SG thirty. Max 
Shield health, 440. Man, that feels low. So what is that? SG-30. There were better ones available, but they're all class B or C. Okay. I think I'm just about maxing out our capabilities as far as sh ship upgrades go until we get some better options. But what I can maybe do... Let's just switch these. I can start hiding components a little bit better by putting them underneath. Yeah, that's not looking too bad. Oh, wait, what what's Unattached modules, too few landing gears. What? Ship is using too much power for engines. Reduce the engine count. Attached modules. Hey, X Wing, how's it going? There should not be any unattached modules in this vessel. Oh, and thank you, Anstara. Double-click any part of the ship, it will highlight the whole ship. Oh, that's, that, that's clever. I like that. Oh, crap. Crap. Okay, I see what I did. Thank you, Winters. There we go. Trying to get a better match to these. Maybe I should just... I... Stop it. I do find occasionally trying to work underneath a ship is kind of awkward. There, that's better.
There we go. Just another thing the game doesn't tell you. Yeah. Booting up Starfield in a bit, gonna relax with trying to make a cool ship. Very nice. Got the Kepler R. What is the Kepler R? I've never heard of it. I've stored so many tips and things for my new game, plus so many things in this game. Yeah, that's why I'm a little less convinced I'm going to avoid the main story because of New Game Plus. I think it'll be fine to go ahead with it. Okay. Yeah. Thank you, sir. Okay, we're not too far from level 18. That means I can finally get the um, the skill point we need. That'll be good. Kepler R is a massive ship that you get from a quest Walter Stroud gives you. Okay, tell me no more then. Uh, but that's good to know. I haven't really gotten any story-based ships except for the one from the Mantis quest line. I just capture and modify ships to add to my fleet at this point. But I mostly only really spend points on the one ship. You know, I really should move the location of the uh, entry hatch here. Bring it closer to the cockpit. But this is fine for now. Alright, let's explore the damage, see what's been done. The door layout's gonna be completely different now. That well, seems similar so far. I've gotten several. The one from the Free Star quest line is super nice. I just did in my other playthrough one of the uh, Free Star quests. It involved a mech factory and it was very fun. I really like the Free Star stuff. The UC stuff is super interesting as well, but I haven't done as much of that yet. Where's the rest of the ship exactly? I don't remember what components I've got in this ship. I should probably find that out one of these days. Oh. I didn't mean to exit. Okay. I've done a tiny bit of that one in my other playthrough. I went and got coffee. I haven't really done much beyond that. <laughs> oh, whoops. Okay. Where to next? I guess I'm still trying to offload contraband, aren't I? Let's hit up Neon, then. Speaking of Ryujin...
scan you for contraband. Only 65%? It's not as good as I thought. All right, we're done. Have a good time in Neon. Thank you, sir. Still, it's a step up from 59. Yeah, I already took all their credits, X-Wing. And all the credits from the one in uh, New Atlantis as well. I ended up with a lot of contraband to sell. Take it off your hands. Saburo has a cross promotion opportunity for you. Nah, I don't think I want to get mixed up in that. All right, fair enough. Now we're getting somewhere. So I'm not done handing out those flyers yet. Good to know. sell the ammo. Uh, okay, now I can finally get to selling some of this other crap. At least a little bit of it. Time to move on. See you later, sir. Welcome to Newell's. Let me know if you need help with anything. Hope nothing's wrong. You sound awfully tired. Oh my, do I? That's awful. I should be taking better care of my customers. You'll have to excuse me. With all the ruckus my husband's been making at the Merchant Alliance meetings, it's difficult to get any rest. Relatable. Poor old man has himself mixed up in a foolish crusade against Dietrich Sieghart, who he's angry at for paying off Neon security. Yep, I remember. You don't think Seekhart's doing anything wrong. I don't believe he is, no. I think my husband has Dietrich all wrong. He's probably doing what he has to do, to survive. Just, um, please don't tell James I said that. I don't want him to think his own wife is doubting him. Oh no. I'd hate for you to get sucked into the whole silly affair. I'm sure I will so eventually anyway. See my James happy again. He used to smile at me all the time, you know. Now all I see is worry on his face. I suppose you can speak with him about it if you like. But perhaps you'd like to browse our store a bit before you do? I could use the money. Okay, here you are. All right. Oh, they don't actually have any weapons. Interesting. Oh, they have neuro boosts here. I didn't realize that. That's cool. Oh, they sell adhesive. Okay. 
We will be coming back to this place. Tesla Grendel. Anti-personnel, Hitman, and Tesla. I don't really use Grendels, but that's kind of tempting. Rapid Modified Equinox. 25% increase in attack speed. You know, I should give this to Sarah. Holy crap. Actually, I should probably invite Sarah to come along because I don't think I have a companion at the moment. What have they got? 555 left? Thank you for stopping by. Have a moment. Say hello to my wife. Of equipment and accessories. Okay. Speaking of Sieghart, he's next on our list. I have plenty of supplies. Absolutely. Here's everything I currently have in stock. Well, what has he got in the way of resources? Oh, he also has adhesive. Thank you, sir. How do you... Okay, here's a question for you guys. I don't know if it's maybe spoilery, but is it possible to get the Constellation spacesuits with quality and, you know, other special properties? Or do you just have to give up the design if you want something better. Hey, Renamar, how's it going? It's good to see you. That will about do it. Yeah, you, I don't... Uh, actually, I guess I have no idea. Is it possible to craft a helmet into a legendary helmet? Or, you know, some other piece of equipment? But New Game Plus is an interesting point. I was kind of hoping I'd be able to gradually upgrade it over time, but I don't know. Uh, yeah? What? Okay. doesn't say in the crafting description yeah maybe I'll google it later
Okay. There's one more place I would like to visit. Back in the soul system. I don't think we've been here in this playthrough. Let's see what they've got in terms of uh, ship options here. Oh, they have the Cabot C3 bridge. Interesting. Oh, that's the double decker bridge. That's actually kind of tempting, honestly. would require a bit of a redesign. What would that take? I've never tried this particular bridge before, X-Wing. I have one of the other really big ones, though, that I like quite a bit. Uh, this is the Soul System Winters. I'm on Titan. At New Homestead. Oof. They don't have a lot of the other structural pieces that I'm looking for, though. That's unfortunate. I think I'm going to have to temporarily just put some storerooms or something in. So it's going to look a little ugly, but you got to do what you got to do. The only problem is I don't actually have anywhere to go from that bridge. Uh, so let's maybe add another component in here. 
What have I already got first, though? Uh, we have an armory. We have an engineering bay. Captain's quarters. Control station. Three and three by one, all in one berth. Workshop, engineering bay. Actually, you know what? I'm gonna put the workshop directly off the bridge because that's one of the ones I always want to use. And we've got a science lab. I don't need anything new. I'll just hide the gap with that thing. Actually, you know, that looks pretty good. I mean, aside from having the mismatched components. It actually makes things blend in better up here. Yeah, that part I know, X-Wing. It doesn't have all of them, though. It doesn't have the oversized ones, unfortunately. Oh. Oh, I forgot. Um. Oh, crap. You can't attach your weapons to this bridge? That's... Not really a problem, but it's a consideration. Yikes. There, we'll mount them there. One error. Unattached modules. Oh. Yeah, my shield. Okay. That'll have to do for now. I'll have to replace those with better looking parts, but for the time being, that should be good. Missing a weapon assignment. Is it really? Pulse laser, missile launcher. I guess I can't add weapons there. Oh, bases, though, they're worth looking into, Winters. They're a lot more than just a place to edit your stuff. I, I barely touched on them myself, and I already know there are a lot more than that. So what have I got? I've got lasers, and I've got missiles. How much cash do I... Oh, I've got, I've got so much money left. Uh, what else can I do? Disruptor beams? Suppressors? Oh, those are class C. That's not going to work. Okay, class A. Auto electron beam.
There we go. Now, the thing I originally actually wanted to do, I wanted to relocate this. So let's put this up in here, closer to the bridge. Actually, where are the Habs? So I've got a control station. I'll just do a computer core. Actually, I don't like that. <laughs> Never mind. There, that's close enough. Now we have to do the walkthrough. Okay, so we don't have too much on this lower level. Oh, that's... why... what? Should I not have a bridge connection right there? I don't have to go all the way up top, do I? Wait, what just... Okay, I like the bridge. This is really cool. I believe I misconfigured something, though. I've got... This ladder's in a good spot, but it should go down. What did I do? Oh, God. We have excess ladders. Oh, that's, that's temporary, though. That's just because I used companion ways as space fillers in some parts. So that'll be fine eventually, once I get the proper pieces in place. I'll replace them with hull segments instead of actual livable space, so there won't be extra ladders and doors all over the place. But this... Wait. I'm lost. Oh, that's that's out. Okay. We need to edit this again. I need those ladders to line up if Captain, possible. Do you require my assistance? Nope, I'm good. Got anything you need to offload? Okay, no problem. Kind of wish the shipbuilding component included a way to make sure the interior is all good. That is the number one problem I have with this. I was so frustrated yesterday with that. It's kind of terrible. Okay, so you know what? I do need... Oh, uh, nope. Sure, how about it? Like, that, that, that is absolutely a thing that must be fixed, Winters. It must be fixed. There we go. Uh, 
Okay. Why? Oh, shh. Okay. 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 Already with the problems. There should have been a door. Hey, what can I do for you? Sure, how about it? Actually, you know, I don't even need that. Wait, what? Oh. Never mind. Uh, there were parts attached to that, I believe, so yeah, I kind of do need it. For now. That looks better. Yeah, and I have had instances where I couldn't actually access all of my ship. Okay. I have direct access to the bridge. From both levels, actually, because, uh... Whoops. Here. I'll actually use the ladder for once. There we go. Vasco, what the heck? Captain, hello. I am satisfied to see that you survived your most recent sleep cycle. Am I currently in possession of an item you require? That is my question. Oh my god, I did give him a crap ton of stuff, and then I forgot about it because Sarah took over as my companion. That's hilarious. Thank you. Farewell. I was a little concerned with why you are stuck in the floor, though. Okay, so we have... Yeah. Okay, this... I, I love this. Walking right back here, and we're into our nice workshop. That's great. That's fantastic. That and the configuration of the doors and ladders we've got right here at the ship solves 90% of my concerns. So we should be okay for the rest. I don't care nearly as much about the rest. Uh, okay, so we've got a little storeroom here. We'll have to... Do some reconfiguring at some point. Okay, like that. That's good. These are the temporary rooms I don't care about. These will be replaced with inner hull eventually. So that's fine. So we've got here, I think this is... I don't know what this is. Maybe the captain's quarters? Or a living space? This looks more like general living space to me. Oh, this is the all-in-one. This is the three-by-one. We've got our science lab. Engineering. I don't think anything else connects here. I don't think anything else connects here. Armory. 
and another temporary storeroom. Okay, so I think everything is actually looking pretty good. Okay, ships need more stairs, or even better than stairs, they need ramps. That's another change that, like, you know, it's not a, an issue that needs to be fixed, but it's a thing that I would love to see. More options for getting people around, more ways to edit how they get around inside the ship. I want to see ramps, I want to see stairs. I don't really care about turbo lifts, the ships aren't really big enough for that, but... I wouldn't object if they threw them in there. Let's actually finally visit this colony. But that, I like that change. That's really good. That's a very nice cockpit. I approve. Or sorry, that's actually not even a cockpit. That's a bridge. Also, four and a half minutes, guys. We're going to take another break in about four and a half minutes. Okay. This is a boring assignment, but let's keep it that way. You got it. Enjoy your visit here. We get a lot of tourists out this way. But most of them aren't so bold as to strike up conversations with us. What's your deal? Just interested in how cultivation works on this planet. Hmm. You seem genuine enough. So what can I do for you? Just wanted to chat a little. Thanks for your time. No worries. You have yourself a day now. Those folks in Sidonia may be closer to Earth. But we do a better job. You never say the B, the Q or B word? How do you mean, Winters? Boy, I'm all glad I have a chunk, Zia. I still can't believe people actually live like this. Rude. We're out of chunk special sauce again. But trust me, the food's still great without it. Hello there. Welcome to the new Homestead Chunks. We've got all your chunks' favorites, Zia. Well, almost all. Sadly, we're out of the special sauce. I know, I know. But everything else is still that great chunks food you know and love. <laughs> so, what can I do for you? Running out of chunks special sauce sounds like a problem. If I'm completely honest, it is. The people are always saying how this chunks can't compare to the real deal. And I just know it's because we never had that mouth-watering sauce. I've been in contact with some of the other restaurants out there, and they'll give me some. But they say they can't afford to send it, and I don't have a ship, so what am I to do? Got it, Winters. That makes sense. If you just need someone to go get it, I can do that for you. Wait. For real? You do that. You're not pulling my leg. Yeah, no problem. Just tell me where to go. Oh, yeah, right. I actually just got a message back from another Chunks before you got here, and they got a case ready to go for you. Just tell him you're there to pick it up for me, and it should be good to go. Thanks. No problem, sir. What did we think of the tour? Very informative. I didn't Paradiso. before coming here. The um, Brown Horse Tavern, was it? Huh? The food was better than I expected from a backwoods planet like this. It has a quaint charm, doesn't it? Just like the rest of New Homestead. Well, I hope you'll come back and see us again sometime. And I hope you'll consider another Star Zap tour. Tell your friends. Bye. We will. Thanks again. Okay. Did you see those wind turbines out there? With me, Bill. Ooh, hey. You've got to do a better job of keeping your That's a nice outfit you got. I could probably offer that you a good price for it. Uh, it's okay. I'm kind of wearing it. And welcome to my little shop. Are you visiting New Homestead for the first time? I am indeed. Oh, nice. You know, it's always such a pleasure to meet people from other worlds. Or just space. <laughs> I don't judge. 
Andre, <laughs> hey, Clara, how's it going? What you're looking to buy or take a look at whatever you want to sell. Trades of all kinds are welcome here. Or if you have any questions for me about the shop, the merchandise, or even just new homestead in general, I'm happy to help you. I'd like to take a look at what you're selling. What kinds of, actually, what kinds of things are he, is he looking for? Glad you asked. I'm looking for all sorts of things. Anything, really. Uh, clothing, weapons, jewelry, even stuff they consider junk. <laughs> you name it. We don't get a lot of off-world stock, so I offer to buy things from travelers. Anything they're willing to part with. Between you and me, people around here talk a lot about tradition and whatnot, but even they get curious about what other worlds have to offer. Sure thing. I'm also interested in buying if you have anything for sale. That is particularly good to know. At a second interview today, think you'll get a job offer, but you don't know, so we'll see. Now, if only the city can get back to Kaylin and I on a disabled apartment. That is awesome, Cleric. I will keep my fingers crossed for you on all of that. But it is time for me to take my break right now, so if you guys need to get up and grab some food or a drink or a snack or something, this is a very good time to do it, and I'll meet you back here in just a few. Personal guarantee here that you will not regret. Oh, my God. That fox just got nailed. I never really seem to have the time. I'm good. Can't hide from me. Yep, um, that, that is totally a thing that works in real life, by the way. That's a, definitely a thing you can do without getting yourself murdered underneath the vehicle. Oh. Okay, well. Wait, what? Pet? What? Are you... Oh my god. But I, I'm still kind of tempted to play them. Okay. Thanks, Auto Drive. Whoa. Oh. <laughs> what the hell? His wounds look deep. I might be able to help. Oh, that's so cool. You can give yourself advantage by using Charm Person. Oh, I love that. Oh, they did a really good job with this. <laughs> Saved by Guidance again. He's hurt badly. An oil bear got him deep. If there's anything you can do. What the hell? What is wrong with this blasted thing? A blank for... 
There better be a second round in here. Okay, I'm back. Uh, now, let's sell. I picked up a bunch of stuff from Vasco that we need to get rid of. I thought we did. Did I dump it all in the ship? Weird. Maybe it's mostly resources or something. Outfits, maybe? Huh. Well, there is some armor and stuff like that, so I can get rid of some of this stuff. Maybe we can make a trade. Thank Assuming you, Claire, against our like winters. <clears throat> Let's see here. Um, yeah, I'll take all of your adhesive, sir. Enjoy the rest of your day. Thank you. I also, oh, I, I posted a couple of images last Don't night. Don't outside for too long here on Titan. This is where this all stuff was, the uh, the antique computer and all that, and I believe the hockey stick as well. Yeah, hockey stick is right here. They have a bunch of other stuff, but those were the two that really caught my eye. The other thing that I liked here is another Tuvok character. Ah, oh, to lay eyes on the earth just once. Hello there. Are you here to peruse our little museum exhibit? I was just looking at some of the items in your collection. Wonderful. These are all rare artifacts from before the collapse of Earth. There isn't much of this stuff left outside of private collections, but here we're happy to share a glimpse of them with the public. Nope, this is on Titan in if the Soul System. If you have any questions about the exhibit or New Homestead, I'm happy to answer as best as I can. Can you tell me more about the exhibit? Of course, certainly. We have several items in our collection that we rotate in and out over time, but they all originate from the same place. Earth. We have everything from toys to antique technology to sports memorabilia. We even used to have an old Earth vehicle, but we had to sell it when we ran out of space for it. Most of our collection was donated by fellow Earth enthusiasts and historians who felt it belonged close to the homeland here in the Soul System. What can you tell me about how New Homestead came to be? It's an interesting story. New Homestead began as a scientific research base called the Titan Astrobase, back when space travel was in its infancy. The hope was that humanity would be able to discover simple alien life here given the moon's composition and water supply. When that ultimately failed, it was repurposed as a colony research base where scientists and engineers studied how to build colonies on inhospitable worlds. Then finally, when gravity drives were commonplace and we started finding Earth-like planets, New Homestead was born as a living history community to preserve that past. Everyone has such interesting family names. What's the deal with that? When our early colonists learned of Earth's demise, they decided to take on the names of their cities of origin as a way to remember their heritage. Now, 
Some may have been lost in translation over the years, and some may have taken it more seriously than others, but the names are mostly accurate. For instance, my family comes from the city of Lyon, in a country that was called France. Hey, Sketchy. It's going good. How are you doing? Thank you for the hydrate. I am Maurice Leon, and I am the community elder. As the oldest living citizen at 96, my only job is to keep Earth history alive. I tell stories to the young people and the visitors from other worlds. Although my memory isn't what it used to be, I try my best to get the stories right. Could you tell me a story about Earth? Sure, I'd love to. There was once a war so big that they say all of the world was involved. This was actually the second time it happened. They fought because a terrible man named Hitler rose to power and slaughtered many innocents. Millions were lost. Even the colony war pales in comparison. Thanks for visiting. Okay, I like this place. There's not a huge amount to it, but it's pretty cool. Word of advice, steer clear of the doctor here. She really seems to have a problem with tourists for some reason. Okay then. Warm food, cold drinks? What else could you want? Welcome, I'm Anya. Is this your first time with us at the Brown Horse Tavern? Sure is. Oh, well, thank you for joining us. You're in for a real treat. We've got an assortment of food and drinks, some of which follow homemade recipes that have been passed down over hundreds of years. So, what can I do for you? What is this place? You mean the Brown Horse? Well, it's only the longest continuous running restaurant since humans started settling outside of Earth. There's a lot of history within these walls. And some damn fine food and drink, if I say so myself. Wow, Winters. This place has been in my family for generations. My great-great, the however many, great-grandmother opened it when the first colony started on Titan. Back then... It was a simple mess hall that she chose to put a little extra love and flavor into. And now, it's the pride of Mew Homestead. That uh, was good to see you, Sketchy. Have a great day. I saw the Chunks restaurant out there. Does it hurt your business? <laughs> oh, hardly. The locals pretty much stay away from Chunks, so whenever they don't feel like cooking themselves and want a fresh meal, they come to me. Only the tourists eat that junk. But don't tell that to my husband. He manages the chunks. I love him, but he's a bit of a fanatic about it. All right. Take care. Thanks for stopping by. Damn powers on the fritz again. Joyce always seems to need help clearing ice off the equipment. Help clearing ice, huh? Let's maybe speak with Joyce. Earn a few credits while we're here. Sure would be nice to get off world sometime. Why don't you then? Feel free to look around. Titan's such an incredible place for renewable energy. Oh, hello there. Uh, are you here about the brownouts? That's usually the only reason people come up here to talk to me, since I'm the power system manager here. Uh, no, but that sounds like a problem. You have no idea. Worse. 
I'm stuck up here overseeing the whole system, and we don't currently have anyone available to go out there and take care of the problem. Maybe there's something I can do to help with the brownouts. Actually, that's not a bad idea. I'm a little new to the job, and I'll admit I'm struggling a little bit. I could use some help. Just tell me what you need. I could use someone who's handy with a laser cutter to break up the ice that's formed on some of the power system machinery out there. That should clear up the shorts we've been experiencing and stop the brownouts. Does that sound like something you can do? Sure, no problem at all. As a former miner, I know my way around a gutter. Oh, thank you. I, I guess I'm lucky you showed up then. Just be careful not to hurt yourself or the equipment. I'll continue to monitor things from here. Welcome to New Homestead. Thank you. All right, then. Uh, I get. Oh, it stuck me back on deputized. Brown out. That's what we want. Oh, it's all back here this time. Okay, and that's that. glad you're helping us out. Power systems all look as good as they can be for now. Thank you. I hope it wasn't too much of a pain in the butt. Easy peasy. Thank you very much. Hey, Verserp. How's it going? Good to see you. And with that, I do believe we are done on New Homestead for the moment. Maybe we actually will go back and do that deputized. Compl oh yeah, complete a free star ranger. Yes, we will do this. Uh, which means, actually, where is mission? Kill the outlaw gang leader. Yes, we can do that. That will let me loot a bunch of crap, sell a bunch of crap, and then we can fix up the damage I did to my ship. Not really damage, but you know, the, uh, I want to get rid of the Nova parts that we're using and replace them with appropriate pieces that go with the design of the ship. Greetings, Captain. Thank you. Whoops. Maybe think about a new lander as well, landing bay. Back to the grind here, worked 10 a.m. to 4 a.m. yesterday, which, watching Twitch 2, added again, but it means a three-day work week, so it's cool. Oh, man, three-day work week sounds nice. 
oh yes, this is completely rebuilt. I, I don't buy ships or anything like that. I have a few that I've, or one that I've acquired from a mission. But, uh, you know, 90% of the appeal of this game is the shipbuilding. So, it's all completely custom. Started with the Razor Leaf and completely remade it. Yeah, the Razor Leaf is the one other ship that I have gotten. I don't think I have more than that. Let's find out. Yeah. I haven't done anything with it. It's an okay ship. I don't really need it for much of anything. Alright. It's not a C-class, it's now a C-class behemoth with the landing bay out the front. It looks almost like the Firefly, that's awesome. Yep, that's basically how I play this game, too. When I get more money, it immediately gets poured into my ship. Actually, I'll give you a quick tour of the other ship in my other game. Ooh, we're at Aquila. Hopefully we're not in the city itself. That's the ship you've completely re rebuilt as well. Nice. Yeah, this is my pancake ship, the one I'm loading in, hopefully. Mm. Oh, okay, we're good. Oh, I am in the city itself. Shoot. Uh, maybe I can fast travel. to be back on board. This is my frontier. Like I said, it's a bit of a pancake ship. Cargo capacity is currently up to 8,600. I've got the other really big bridge that I like quite a bit. This one's really cool. I think the thing that I like better about the one that we just got in the on-stream game is that this one is not multi-level. I like the fact that the other one is multi-level quite a bit. Uh, is he... New orders for me? Nope, we're good. Uh, I have to try to remember how to get around, but we've got the workshop here. Science lab. Never sure what this compartment is. A big two by three living space. Actually, I think this is the mess hall. Hey, it's my personal savior. Thanks again for the assist. Sort of a command center. I think this is the battle stations, two by two. Infirmary, computer core, armory, you know, all the, all the necessities. I 
but this is kind of why I get so frustrated. It's really difficult to navigate these things sometimes once you get a ship up to this size. And you've got all the compartments and components and you have very little control over where doors and ladders go. It gets very confusing. I prefer that layout. I enter my ship and have to go up two levels to get to the bridge. Yeah, I, I fought with this particular ship's design for a long time yesterday, specifically to try to get an acceptable layout. And then we've got the sort of ground level where we've got the uh, landing bay. Opens into main engineering. I've got a 2x2 two two cargo. And then uh, the door moved up here. We've got a 2x2 two two brig as well. Which, for some reason... People on the ship seem to use it as just like a sleeping space. I occasionally find people sleeping in the brig, which is interesting. Big quality of life was putting the landing bay right under the cockpit. Yeah, I've been doing the same thing. Because that's the one hard and fast rule that I've really figured out, is that the game will do everything in its power to make sure that That's there gone. is a shortest route from the landing bay to the cockpit, reliably. Everything else, I have no idea how it does things. But uh, yeah, let me just quick save that real fast so that I'm in the ship and ready to go instead of in the city, and then we'll go back to the proper game. That and with a big ship when you land with with a back landing bay, you have to run around the whole thing to get anywhere. Yeah, that's true. Although the other quality of life thing that they did put into the game by default, which is really nice, is in, instead of hitting E to just open the hatch and enter the ship, you can hit R instead and go directly to the cockpit. When you leave the ship, it will still spit you out. Oh, that's true. That is true. That was my whole reason for rebuilding the Razor Leaf. I didn't like getting roasted by radiation from exiting near the engines. I'm not convinced that's a thing. I I'm not sure that that's Captain, what was going on. Winters. You might have had radiation at that location on a planet you were consistently exiting on or something like that. I've never noticed that the engines give you radiation damage, though. Oh, hello. Oh, crap. I don't have a companion. I need to get Sarah back. Hang on. Sarah? You hanging around here somewhere? Sarah? You're not down here, are you? Nope. Nope. Don't mind me, I'm just trashing my own ship. Look at this. People making such a mess. An RP flavor factor, true. 
Took me till yesterday to realize that Sarah was allowing me a fourth crew if I assigned her. It was happening to me on New Atlantis unless I got a bug where I was taking atmospheric effects with me. Mm. New Atlantis, you're right. That shouldn't be happening on New Atlantis. That's weird. Oh, crap. She's at the lodge. Yeah, let's assign her here. And him, too. Shoot, that was going to be a long search. Hopefully she can teleport. Actually had to use the console to remove a bug that was permanently giving me the poor air quality status? Oh god, that's rough. I'm very sorry to hear that. Um... might need to use Vasco temporarily. It's probably not the worst thing in the world. I'm just going to step outside and back in again in case reloading the interior of the ship causes them to spawn now that they're assigned. Minus 40? Okay. I don't know if I would call minus 40 extreme. Uh, you know what? Actually, yeah, minus 40 is pretty extreme. I've experienced it personally. I love cold weather. I don't love minus 40. It's not fun. I have this terrible feeling I might have to go back to New Atlantis before they're going to show up. So far, the only bug I've run into was when Razor Leaf was my home ship, but I edited Frontier just to put on unique mods, and it put Frontier on my landing pad and broke fast travel entirely till I got in Frontier and let it be my home ship for a moment. Oh, weird, Preserve. I have a weird bug where the uh, ship technician guy that handles your upgrades and whatnot on Neon does not show up at all in this save. Works perfectly fine in my other save, but on this one, he's just missing. Yeah, okay. Your ship smells so much better than Dad's? Oh. Like, a lot. Okay, well, apparently it did work. I have no idea where Sarah and... What's his name? Sam R. But she's here. There you are, Sarah. The galaxy's too big to be stuck in the same place. Something you need? Yes. Not that. Damn it. Hey. You've probably got the same bug I have then for Zerp. I'm glad you're back. Let's get moving. Excellent. Thank you. Like these that I visited. Hello. Uh, it shouldn't matter. I am not a neon rat. I took kid stuff, dream home, and wanted. I've never had the stomach for big industry. All they care about is making money. Money's useful. Don't knock money.
That's why I like a different companion. She gives me money instead of trying to poison me with toxic leaves. Wow. I like getting components. They're very handy for crafting, and I do enjoy my crafting. I haven't gotten deeply into it yet on the weapon and spacesuit side of things yet. I tend to focus more on the ship, but still very, very useful. Okay. Take those. Skip shot modified XM. What the heck is this? Legendary pistol. Damn, that's valuable. What the what? Instigating does double damage to targets with full health. Poison randomly deals poison damage and slows the target. Skip shot. Every fourth shot fires two projectiles at once. And it's got a large magazine? Holy crap. That's not bad. I craft weapon mods so the stuff Sarah gives isn't super useful. Ah, uh, that's fair. Oh, uh, power required. You know, I don't think I've ever figured out how to restore power to this thing. Maybe one of these days. I'd like instigating on my main pistol. So far, they're all common quality. You'll get there. I actually have some posts on my Discord. I just figured out yesterday. Oh, crap. Wow. Yeah, at minus 40 is a bit of a killer. Give me the flooring and let's get inside. Oh, shoot. This is not a separate interior? Oh, goddamn. Okay, hang on a second here. What am I wearing? Oh, crap, I'm wearing the executive suit. Let's maybe get the hazmat suit on. Much better thermal protection there. Oh, while I'm at it, actually. Neurotech. Plus 10% instigation chance. I can't believe this is not a separate zone, so I'm going to be freezing to death this entire time. Uh... Frostbite cured. Okay, I have nothing for the hypothermia. That's going to be a problem. Cola, lovely. I've never had maple cola. If it's a real thing, I need to try it one day. It sounds delicious. 
What on earth are these guys fighting? I don't think I've ever been here when it's been so loud before. Free Star Captain's Log Number Two. Always love a boost to my carry capacity. What on earth is going on here? Okay. This one looks easy enough. So that's the middle ring dealt with. Guys, could you keep it down out there? I'm trying to... Seriously? <laughs> Not bad. I wish I knew what was going on, but that was easy as heck. Okay, that's it. Time to sell some of your junk. Okay. We're not at a vendor, Sarah. We will get to it. Don't worry. Oh, crap. Ship weapons cost more to fire while in targeting mode. O2 recovery rate is reduced. Freezing cold and snow. Seek shelter immediately. Acute hypothermia. Lovely. I at least want to see what these guys are. Diff oh my god, I've never had it this bad before. Okay, you know what? Now we know it's mercenaries. Let's just get the heck off this rock. This is a bad news planet, if ever there was one. What's so cute about hypothermia? Now, a new book? 
I'm a one-shot, one-kill, hip-fire pistol stealther. No. No, I have no time for you. I'm sorry, sir. Let's go back to Alpha Centauri for the moment. We'll head back into Free Star Space soon. Blue Toes. Wow, Greeny. How are you doing? It's good to see you. Instigating would double my one-shot capability, which is why I wanted it on a good pistol so much. Most of my stealth pistols are rated at 200 damage or so. This little piggy is going to fall off. Wow. I would like to keep those, please. Appointment went well. Excellent. Won't know for a couple of days, but hopefully it's a step in the right direction. Fingers crossed. Hey, what can I do for you? Not much, sir. I just need the tram over to the hospital right now. Oh, I'm still overloaded. Don't be scanned as you enter the city. Please keep moving. Okay. I do seem to remember picking up a lot of spacesuits. We're going to have to sell some of those off. There is a bit more in them. If it belongs on your ship, then I... Oh, please, take a look. Thank you. I don't suppose you've got any more adhesive. Nope, okay. Oh, she has no credits either. That's kind of a problem. Thanks for shopping at Jemison Mercantile. Now, if I remember correctly, the hospital is in the residential zone. I don't know if I've ever actually used the hospital here. Uh, Reliant Medical, this way. Centaurian Arsenal? I think Reliant Medical is just past it. Here we are. I walked into an interesting quest a couple of days ago, an uneasy truce between the UC and fire free... Free Star, as they were both getting grief from spacer raids. Not sure if it was a random side quest or if I accidentally stumbled into a faction quest. It sounds like one that I've done myself, so it's probably not random. Sierra Morgan, <gasps> it's been a while. How's the arm? It hasn't been the same since the war, but I can live with it. Thanks to you. Nonsense. If you're still experiencing a bit of pain, then let me at least prescribe you some medication. You know what, Doc? I 
like the pain. It reminds me of the past and things that should never be forgotten. We offer only the best care in New Atlantis. If there's anything you need, please don't hesitate to ask. Welcome to Reliant. If you're in need of medical assistance or require supplies, I am sure we can accommodate you. I need help, Doc. How can I help? My goodness, you're in quite a state. You definitely need some assistance. Yes, indeed. Cure my afflictions. Just relax and take long, slow, deep breaths. This will be over soon. Everything looks good. I miss the giant syringe. May you remain in good health. Thank you. I did that quest too. Don't know if it's the same one. Oh, a note what? just came in from Cassian. A note just receiving. came in from Cassian. Someone receiving. just sent a throne gift. Someone just sent Thank a throne gift. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. Holy crap, for Zerp, what the heck? Thank you so much! Well, I guess I... Oh, okay, you know what? We are less than one month away from the stream anniversary. That's what we're going to do for the stream anniversary. A new Lego build. Thank you so much, that's amazing. Thank you, for Zerp, that's so cool. I'll, uh, <laughs> also, it took me just a second to realize that, but that's still in my old alert style. That's actually kind of hilarious. I guess I never updated the uh, the uh, throne gift alert audio. That's hilarious. I, I love that. That's kind of a blast to hear. I, I still think I like those ones better than the uh, newer alerts, honestly. So that's another thing that I'll do. Like I said earlier in stream, I will uh, make a point of trying to update my alerts so that we get rid of those and get some new ones that are actually decent. I mean, I guess the new ones aren't bad. They're just, they don't really appeal to me as much uh, in the execution as they did in the concept. Hope I'll be able to be here. That's a day before I move if all goes well. Oof. Yeah. Well, it'll be a long stream, so... There, well, actually, hang on a second. It's not necessarily going to be directly on the 18th. Let me just check. Yeah, the 18th is a Wednesday. So I think maybe I will schedule the special celebration stream for the 21st, the Saturday, so I can go long on it and not have it completely devastate everything. So I'll plan for Saturday the 21st to be the anniversary stream. And that'll be a super long one for October. Because you move next week, yeah. Ooh, I hope it all goes well, Greeny. Uh, okay, now I need to dump my spacesuit stuff. Where can I do that? Let's go... We'll go hit the mast. And I think... Outfitters is probably our best bet. I think they deal more in clothing than in actual spacesuits, though, is the only thing. Oh, I love any of them for Zerp. They're all there for a reason. Whether they're expensive or relatively inexpensive. I just find the Lego builds, I mean, they're fun to do on stream. People seem to enjoy watching them. But I also just find they're good for me mentally. They're really, really... They're very calming. They're very relaxing. They're very... It's, it's just... I'm enjoying it far, far, far more than I ever really expected that I would. Like, it's just almost meditative in a way to do them, so I really, really enjoy those streams. I have the Ghostbusters Firehouse. Oh man, that sounds amazing. And the Star Destroyer? I'm very jealous of your Star Destroyer. 
they were great to build. Yeah, I've done how many builds have I done now? I did Boba Fett's starship. I did the Razor Crest. I did Obi Wan's Jedi Starfighter, and uh, just a little while back, I did BD One. So I guess I've done four now. Your own is. I would never dream of selling substandard gear. Outland has standards, and uh, please do. I hope we have something that suits you. <laughs> Get it? Oh, actually, that reminds me. I still... <laughs> Someday we'll see Gord make a Death Star. My main ambition is not the Death Star so much as it is one of the really super expensive, elaborate, really amazing Millennium Falcons. But I would not say no to a Death Star either. That would be pretty awesome. Uh, I still need to do the... Uh, what you call it? The time lapse of the... BD1 build. So that's a good reminder. That's another thing I need to get on. Okay, he does deal in spacesuits. That's really good to know. So I should be able to sell suits. Why do I not have suits? What the heck? I do have packs. We can sell some of these. Repulsing Calibrated Navigator Pack. Oh, this has got the O2 Boosted. I like that one. Oh, this is a really good pack. I should probably be using this pack. O2 Boosted Resource Hauling. That's really nice. And it's calibrated. My brother has the Big Falcon. Yeah, that one, I think if I actually got that one, that's like, what, 40 bags? That would probably take several months to build. Kellen would love to have any of those Lego sets. Yeah. You could just make Alderaan. All you have to do is throw the Legos around you. Oh my god, Greeny. The storage on that one is rough, though. You couldn't have that one. Yeah, I've got plenty of desk space around might require some reconfiguring and cleaning but I could do it the firehouse and the star destroyer fit on top of my calyx shelf Ikea for board games ah I got it I think it's funny because then walking across the room is pretty much like having to navigate an asteroid field I don't need any more navigation hazards in this place Good luck on all your adventures. Ugh, okay, what is with my inventory? What is weighing me down? Okay, I do have some weapons. I have two cats, so I have to take that into account. Oh, a minute and a half warning on ads. I'm going to take a slightly longer break in a minute and a half. And I'm going to make some tea, by the way. Can we just go... Oh, weapons. I can go to the UC Distribution Center. Perfect. Then I don't have to go all the way back to the arsenal. Your yeah, cats and Legos. I could see that being an issue. I'm no longer able to allocate ships. I can, however, deal in general goods. Welcome to UC Distribution. Something I can do for you? Yes. Oh, well, certainly. What do they have in stock? They've got some calibrated stuff. Calibrated Equinox. They've got the N67 smart gun and the rapid shot. Stealth calibrated Equinox. With ignition beams, even. Interesting. Okay, but... Uh, oh. An Assassin's Calibrated Equinox. Laser sight, stealth lasers, large battery, fully auto. Yeah, not fond of the fully auto. Sarah seems to do well with those, though. Let's see what I can ditch. I don't need Grendels, or a modified Grendels, or a regulator, or a side star. And as impressive as this pistol looks, I'm never going to use it. And she can afford it, so off it goes. 
You're always welcome back. If you don't mind a bit of a wait. Oh my god, I'm still overloaded. Okay, we will deal with that. It's probably resources. I probably just need to store resources in my ship. But I will be back in maybe six, and, six to eight minutes or so. So uh, if you guys need to get up, grab some food or a drink or a snack, this is a really good time to do it. And I'll meet you back here in just a few. NPCs are good with spraying ammo since they have infinite ammo. Yeah, but also she just seems to be a lot better at using that type of gun to do damage. Like when I do it, I do very little damage. Maybe it's because my aim is off. I don't know, but I'll be back in a few. Good doing business with you. What was that? Don't steal her! Don't steal her! That's it. That's all you've got. I'm gonna... Jump into target sector. Achievement unlocked. Explorer. Wow, that was not a good shot. Uh, Ooh! I'm hit! My mech is coming apart around me. I stand corrected. Damn. Whoops. Greeny would be proud. Oh crap. <laughs> oh. I thought for a moment I was going right into the water. Watch the disc. No, watch the. No, watch. No. That's scared. No, of course. Okay. Well, clearly there were some areas they had... <laughs> clearly there were some areas they have not invested a lot of work in improving. Not that the game would ever throw anything really terrible at us. Ah! Giant Chara spider? What the hell? That's so disgusting. Ooh. I hate it. seem to be able to get me. Oh, I may have spoken too soon. I might also be stuck. Whoops. You have just been blown into bite-sized chunks by a Sarian spider droid. I, um... I can't help but notice that this might be a little bit bugged because in spite of the fact that she's standing there and talked to us, the game does seem to think that Barth here is dead. Coward almost got us killed. Take you. 
Now she is no longer dead. She's also called Ramira. And maybe oh my god. <laughs> 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 um, you okay, sir? Okay. Let's take out the mind flare. I forgot about these guys, too. What? Three nanites for a whole gold nugget? Dude, that's such a ripoff. I'm sorry. Wow. I'm just trying to incite violence between the trigger men and the. Oh, shoot! Not me. Uh oh. Uh, yeah, okay. That, no, that. <laughs> That didn't work out quite the way I had hoped it would. Well, that was the thing. That was a good chunk of damage. That's different. Ooh. Holy crap, what was that? There's the other connector. God, you build the actual family tree? What? Oh, wow. This is really hecking cool. This is a bit of a problem. It's not likely to explode very satisfactorily. So I don't think we have any choice. Oh! Never mind. Oh, you caught up. Two of you did. Where's Lydia? Lydia, oh, there you are. Okay. Come on, Lydia. I haven't given you that much to carry. That's a lie. Yes, I have. I'm in the wagon. Ready to go. I'm out of the hole. First try. How are you not dead? Excuse me. Rana just raised my corpse? Rude! Hey! 
Ugh. Hey! Damn it. My order the yawn. Stop right there. Wow. Uh Is that friendly? It hasn't ripped my face off, so... Oh my god. Thank you, guys. <laughs> Multi kill. <laughs> gotcha. Alright. We've had a redemption for a terrible pun or dad joke, so I must apologize in advance for the obscenity you're about to endure. Who's in charge of the pencil case? The ruler. There. Oh, crap. Oh. Wolf Chow. What the hell are you doing? These poor dinosaurs, they're being sniped at from all sides. There we go. Oh my god. Well... Oh my god, the charging of the boar. Oh, oh. Oh, shoot. I forgot that melons are not a summer cr or not a spring crop. Which means I can't get any more unless I can recover some. Let's see. I bet you I can use this. Still got it. Whoa! <laughs> okay, sorry about that, guys. I had to make a snack, too. I am back. Ooh. Thank you, Cleric. Oh, I needed that. Welcome to UC Distribution. Something I can do for you? Yes. Thank you, Ansara. Oh, please, take a look. Uh, okay, what can we get rid of? What might be weighing me down? If it's not weapons, it's clearly not spacesuits, packs, or helmets. Apparel, maybe. Oh. Okay. There's a bit of... A bit of food that we can get rid of. Tortiera, pork, veal, beef, potato, pie. That sounds... Oh, I could go for some of that, actually. That sounds really nice. But I think it's resources. I've been collecting too much adhesive. Oh, okay. I've already priced them out. Back to it, then. Pie in a can, yes. I would try it. 
it would probably be terrible, but I would try it. Oh, and <laughs> thank you, Greeny. Welcome snack. I like that. Oh, I did it. I'm not overburdened anymore. Amazing. Uh, let's hit up Settled Systems News Network then. Another story for me? I have information about the Gal Bank robbery on Aquila City. You certainly get around. I'm surprised that branch has any customers left the number of times it's been held up. But I thought the Rangers had finally managed to get a handle on it. I heard there was a standoff. That true? There was a standoff, all right. My first time there, too. Welcome to Aquila. Don't mind the robbery. I hear the robbers are provided free of charge. All part of the service. What happened to the robbers? The Shaw Gang? I negotiated with the gang and talked them down. You did what? I mean, you're well spoken. But a hostage negotiator? I'll do some research and make sure that checks out. These things are often... messy. Any customers or Gal Bank staff get hurt? Nope. That's really good news. Usually... Well, it's a different kind of story. You were there. You were involved in resolving it. Any comment on the Freestar Rangers? Having another high-profile robbery in their own backyard is a bit of a black eye. Desperate people do desperate things. The Rangers kept it from turning into a massacre. Huh. That's really good to know. Stories like this always fire up public outrage and appetite. Thanks for the interview. And take this. Okay. She reminds me a lot of Piper. And not just because of the uh, investigative journalism aspect. <laughs> I kind of love it when they do that. <laughs> You did a thing? What did you do, Greeny? Um, I don't suppose we've been tooling around long enough for the inventory to pop over yet, have we? If you don't see what you want, feel free to ask. You made a prediction. Do we wait? Do is it a stream prediction thing? Is it here? Did you post it somewhere in Discord? What's the deal? I'm a little confused. I didn't see anything. Oh, please take a look. A stream prediction. Why do I not get to see that? I don't see anything about that. She still has no credits. Thanks for coming in. I have no idea where I would even look to see that, Greeny. What prediction did you make? I'm such a professional streamer. <clears throat> the ship is starting to look a little bit too boxy. I'm going to have to do something about that. Oh, hang on. Pleasant. Ten Good minutes or less. Okay, it didn't pop up until it was actually over. That's weird. It already it's timed out. That's why you can't see. You'd have to click channel points to see it. Ah, okay. How long until Gord is overburdened again? Ten minutes or less now. Maybe if I were actively exploring a location on a planet that isn't giving me active hypothermia, then I could see that.
Okay. We have money again, I believe. 43k. Almost 44k. Uh, oh. I'm used to the other hey, cockpit. Wanna hear a joke? Uh, sure. Sweet pea. The old man can always use a laugh. Okay. Who can jump higher than a skyscraper in New Atlantis? <laughs> Sounds good, Greeny. And I will see if I can figure out a way that I can monitor them on my active display. There's probably a way. I've just never done it. You love Sam and Cora? They do seem pretty cool. We're going to head over to the Stroud Eklund space station. It was only set for one minute. Ah, yeah, that would do it. I would easily miss that. Well, you didn't put us into a planet, so we must be in the right place. Wow, thanks, Sarah. Stroud Eklund is open for business. Come aboard, and let's see about getting you a solid upgrade. I like that attitude. Good day, sir. We'll find we have some tempting options for you. Are you ready to do some business? I am. Absolutely. Okay, we need to get rid of these. Okay, those can go. Did I have any more? Yes. That can also go. We need a Stroud mid bracer there. <sighs> Not sure what I want to do about these mandibles on the side. Maybe put that there. Ugh, except... It okay, hang on. Oh, I've still got this empty compartment over here, too. Start to regret getting these. that in like that. 
gives me more places to hide stuff in there. Not really hide it, but keep it out of the way. It doesn't do me much good with those because those are so big. I don't suppose we've got better options for fuel tanks now, do we? Oh, we might. The Titan... Yeah, okay. How much do these hold? 160 versus 150? Okay, we're going to do it. I'm just going to lose those. Gotta try and keep in mind that's my workshop too. Okay, so now we just have to make the rest of this somehow look good. The one thing I don't care about the Stroud is... Well, not too bad. They don't really have any end caps that work. Well, actually, you know what? That kind of... I take it back. I think that could work. That should be okay. I might need another manufacturer's piece to replace these, but I think for now that'll probably do. Now, I also wanted to take a look at replacing the landing bay, so let's see what the options look like there. So they've got the Stability Pro landing bay. That is not going to work with our configuration, unfortunately. So we will have to go somewhere else and find that. Well, I made it look less rectangular, but I don't think I've made it look any more 
rounded, unfortunately. Maybe a touch at the back. Oh, well. <clears throat> I can't wait until our ship construction capabilities are expanded. That's going to be a lot of fun. Oh, right, weapons. Weapons. Let's go back. I forgot about my weapons. I guess they can just go there for now. There we go. You bring light in. How's it going? It's good to see you. It's going well. I'm just doing a little bit of Starship customization. How are things with you? Oh, you know, now that we've got the bridge there, to duplicate. Oh, it even duplicates the color scheme. That's actually pretty handy. Yeah, I think that'll work. <laughs> I wish it were as easy as Lego builds. Uh, that would be nice. Unfortunately, it, it's not quite that good, but it is my favorite part of the game. Okay, let's do a quick walkthrough and see if everything is relatively sane. Just trying to find a game that excites me. How are you having that problem this year of all years? My god. I mean, everybody's tastes are different, but holy crap. This has been the year for games. Uh, okay, so... Oh. Right, I don't know where... We're not coming in from the landing bay. This is from the hatch. Okay, so we actually pop in adjacent to the workshop, which is not bad, which means... That should be the upper bridge door. There we go. Look at that. That's actually really good. I like that. So we hop down here. And this should be the lower bridge door. I can't help but notice this is not connected to anything else. Why is that not connected to anything else? I like that we can skip the ladder entirely. Let's go to the ground floor here. Oh, this is not encouraging. Uh, where's the rest of my ship? Oh, hang on. I was mistaken. Okay, now we're into whatever this room is. Oh my god, I think I know what just happened. With no door here, I think I've just created a basically linear ship. So we come in here, we're in this compartment, we go over here. This is going to connect to one other compartment. Right here, yeah. Now we're into the brand new 2x3 mess hall that I put in. We've got an open door there because the crew move around. We've got a storeroom here that's part of this room. Okay, so this also connects over here. 
and we're into main engineering, which should not connect to anything if... Oh, nope, I'm mistaken. It does. It connects to the armory, which doesn't connect to anything. So it's one long room, basically, except for it's got one branching point, if I'm not mistaken. We can come down here, and this is how we get to our science lab. Oh, fun. Okay. Luckily, I won't need to use the science lab very often because the Stroud Eklund workshop includes a research bench, which most of the workshops from other manufacturers, they don't include the research bench. You need to use a separate module for that. You know what? It's kind of lame. I don't like it, but the important stuff, the workshop specifically, is right here. So I don't hate it as much as I probably could. So I think we're going to go with this. I think that's okay. It's acceptable for the time being. Welcome back, Reserp. Just play Tetris. It's been a crap year for me, so it's kind of dulled things. I have tried the revamped version of Tetris. Heck, that was hard after about the fifth level. The few games I was genuinely excited to play turned out to be awful, just as a double whammy. Which games were those you bring light in? I'm very sorry. Have you tried Baldur's Gate, Starfield, Tears of the Kingdom? There's Spider-Man 2, which is upcoming, and honestly, it's getting kind of tempting. I had thought that I was basically done with new games for the year with uh, with uh, Baldur's Gate 3 and Starfield and the upcoming City Skylines 2, but the uh, Cyberpunk DLC and Spider-Man are calling my name. I'm going to have to be strong and try not to spend the money on them. But uh, it's getting hard. They look really, really good. This is just an insane year. Yeah, but the DLC for Cyberpunk, it's not just its not just new content. It completely revamps the way the game is played. It's like a completely new and separate game. You might need to take a closer look at it. It's really getting me tempted to go through and play it again for the first time. Because that's basically what it would be. You started it four times and bounced off? Yeah, but take a look at the changes that are upcoming with the new new stuff. Because it's really, it's not just minor modifications. It's like they threw away the old systems and have completely redone the way the entire game is played. Also, I really like this cockpit view. Holy crap. The canopy is so nice. I, uh, I don't know, but it, it it's... Um, I think it's the DLC and the 2.0 update, so I want to say yes, but I can't guarantee that. That's why I'm saying, you know, take a closer look at it before you decide it's not of interest. Because it very well could be of interest. Okay, let's take a look at our available missions. I would like to focus a little bit on... Actually, what I want to do is go back... I want to do some free Star Ranger stuff, but we've still got two artifacts in our possession. I can't help but feel we need to go back to the lodge. I'll give it another look after Starfield and when I finally get to Baldur's Gate 3. Cyberpunk made me sad because I loved the Witch series, Witcher series. Yeah, a lot of people got that for Zerp. A lot of people got that, but... They, it, it's kind of a No Man's Sky situation where they had a really crap launch, but they've done a ton of work Painful to make it better. And it's now it's getting a much better reception. So let's see what's going on here. Fortune to maintain the lodge, but I'd say it's worth every credit. Uh, Mom and Dad have gone home. Look at you two. I'm jealous. I tried following up on some leads myself, but came back empty-handed. They could be anywhere, can't they? Embedded in a rock, or in the hands of an unsuspecting novelty goods trader? These artifacts really are something else. I catch myself just staring at the collection sometimes, wondering what it all means. Maybe that's how our ancestors felt when they were looking up at the stars for the first time. 
They didn't just gawk at the stars, Mateo. They explored. They tested. Science brought us to space, not daydreaming. I disagree. What's the point of science if not to enable humanity's dreams? And where do those dreams come from? Not every dream is a pleasant one. I agree with Noel. The work is what moves us forward. You're with me, right? Science or dreams? Which one is the true muse of space exploration? Both. Oh no, I'm not taking sides between you two. Neutrality? In a debate? I guess your side forfeits. That is not how that works. Uh, how can you forfeit if you don't even take a side? You're getting rusty with your comebacks, Mateo. You tell him. Playing it safe, eh? <laughs> I don't blame you. Getting mired in a debate with Mateo and Noel can be an all-day affair. You know what? I just realized I completely overtook this whole conversation. This should be about you and Andresia celebrating a win for the group. I do not mind being asked to join in a debate. It was good to hear everyone's sides. But I do yeah, agree agreed, that cleric. we accomplished something together. Thank you for your help. And for yours. I'd be happy to keep traveling with you. I have no objections. Let us see what else we can find out there. Noel, pulling some interesting data from those new artifacts. Tell the Rook to meet me back on board the station. Roger that, Vladimir. He's on his way. No new artifacts to add. That's weird. Are you certain about that? Oh, okay. I guess it's true. Well, at least we got those out of my inventory. And that gives us a new destination. Let's go to the eye. There's a couple times that there are well, conversations like this that they dumb down a lot and simplify it. I'm like, but you don't have to. Yeah. You just got to go with it. I mean, they've done a lot with this game. You can't expect perfection on every level. It's not Baldur's Gate 3. Let's be fair. Star Station LO868. You need the eye. Haven't been here in a while. Oh, hang on. Sorry about that. I didn't notice Automod did not care for that. That doesn't take much and it's part of the main story. I, uh, I actually have to take exception to that, Cleric. I have done writing work for games before. It does take a lot. It's a lot more than you think it is. Good day, Captain. And that's just on the writing side and the planning side and the keeping everything straight side and not even going into the vocal recording side and the animating side and all of that stuff. It's more than now you think it is. Artifacts aren't just blips of hope in the black is Which is not to say they couldn't have done better with it. Pattern. They could have, but the it's more than you think it is. By one of those artifacts, it matches one on another planet, a bigger one. Now we're talking. Point me at him. All right, let me transfer over the data. But I need you wearing caution's boots for this one. No telling what this thing is or why it's so large. Going to send you the mark close as I can, but I'm having trouble pinpointing the source. You'll need to explore the area on foot. Put your scanner to work. Don't know what you'll find. Keep your eyes open. So I need to search the whole planet for this thing. No, just need to follow your scanner to the real destination. Might be a boot's journey, but that's the explorer's lot sometimes. Land near the anomaly, use my scanner, got it. And from there, maybe you catch a smile and uncover the source of it all. Okay, I need to talk to you again, sir. That anomaly is a damn sight bigger than a regular artifact. No telling what you'll find. 
ever run the scholars on the Centaurus proclamation? The original treaty that gave every human the right to colonize the stars? Stolen by some fool's joke of a crimson fleet rook looking to trade names to Captain. Sight to see pinned above my chair, like the whole settled systems was mine for the taking. Time dances its years forward, and I'd retired. That's when our own Sarah Morgan walks into the tale. Fire in her eyes and her head full of intel I thought I had spent the labor's efforts burying. Of course, I didn't have the Centaurus proclamation just lounging in my pockets. Belonged to the ship and her new captain in the fleet I had left behind. I don't Take know the bug you're talking about, so sure, let's go for it, Preserve. Of it, Sarah and I returned the treaty to the rightful owners, and I decided to hang around, lend an old pirate's wisdom to the mission. Okay. Show the words another time, then. When you get to the planet, don't directly leave the ship. Use your hatch and exit manually. Interesting. Okay. Let's do that then. It sounds like it's kind of at or very close to a point in the main story that I want to get to. Uh, okay, so we need to go down. No. There we go. Hmm? A brief history of time. If you find any addition, any at all, I will be your friend and like forever. That is a really good Again, book. Wanna hear a joke? Uh sure, sweet pea. The old man can always use a laugh. Okay. Who can jump higher than a skyscraper in New Atlantis? Where are away? Um I don't know. Everybody! Skyscrapers can't jump! <laughs> okay, kid. Wow. Procyon 3. Well, it's not very far. It's a rock planet with almost normal Earth gravity. It's cold, high O2. It's got a fair amount of flora and fauna. Uh, we've got neon, ionic liquids, tetrafluorides, fluorine, argon, copper, and water. And apparently I've been here before because I've already found an anomaly there. You did the exit from cockpit and it didn't trigger the thing that's supposed to happen. Okay, we will hop out the hatch then. That's not a big problem. Landing site's clear. All green here. It's good to be out the boat. Let's get stuck sometimes. Ah, so it's not a consistent bug then. And there's no guarantee I would actually suffer it. But that's okay. We've already got the ship configured to be easy to hop out of. So it's not a big problem. Tuga, how's it going? Open the hand scanner and look for distortions in your field of view. Follow the distortions to the source. Freezing vapor fog. That's minus 10. That's not that bad. Oh, do we have another ship landing? Yeah, I get your confusion, Nunstara. This sounds more like an audio cue than uh, an actual visual cue. What does your scanner reveal? 
Not a hell of a lot, honestly. It's visual, it's showing, you just haven't... Oh, hang on. Ah. Wouldn't be that, would it? Or maybe that? Nope. No, that was the perfect amount of non-spoilery. I have to say, as the wife of someone who deals with photosensitivity, I'm very happy they didn't go with, didn't go loud with the distortion and super crazy with the visuals myself. It makes the game far more accessible. That is a very good point. I didn't know she was my active companion. I've never traveled with her before. Let's 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 keep that going. I don't think I even have Andresia in my other playthrough, actually. Which reminds me, I should probably have enough room on my crew to have her aboard. Ooh. Oh, I like her. Stealth, particle beams, energy weapon systems, and theft. Okay, we're going to get along. I like that a lot. So while they could have described it better in their flavor text, it's great for allowing more players to play the game, which is nice to see that designers took that into account. Yeah, I love the overall trend that's going on in the industry to be more accessible. Now, Starfield actually doesn't get very good marks on that. They have very, very few accessibility options. But this is a good example of how even without accessibility options, they're still supporting accessibility to some degree. There could definitely be more accessibility, but there are some things I can see in the design where they took some things into account. I love things like no button mashing, even as someone who doesn't technically need accessibility functions. Button mashing and quick time events in games just detract from them. I agree for Zerp. I really like the new Tomb Raider games, except that they're so packed full of the uh, quick time event stuff. I hate that part. 
rest of them, great stuff. Really enjoy it. It's good. Um, ah. Four and a half minutes, guys. Another break in four and a half minutes, but this will be a... Okay, this is awesome. Space to float up and sea to float down. Those rings. Uh, are they moving? They seem to react to us. <laughs> this is neat. Except I seem to be... Oh. I was a little bit caught. Seem to have gotten out now. Uh... Interesting. That's definitely a reaction. This is really cool. I like this. Marred only slightly by my character's constant cough. <laughs> Keep expecting it to put it in the center. Hang on a second, guys. I am going to snooze the ads. We're going to delay this upcoming break a little bit because uh, this is really neat. And I would like to be able to keep going and not interrupt it. Thank you so much for the follow. I really appreciate that. Welcome on in. Now it's moving. Interesting.
That looks very portal-like. New power. Uh, new power. What? Okay, first of all, <laughs> that, yeah, I noticed that too, cleric. Always worth checking. Never know what you might find in their pockets. Yeah, that's our main concern right now. <laughs> uh, status. Lung damage. Oh, good. The text... Oh. <laughs> Anti-gravity field. Generate a localized field of intense low gravity and behold a planet's true power. Seven undiscovered temples? Oh my god, this game just got like a thousand times cooler. Zed to use your power, it really is like the uh, Thum. Oh, that's neat. Ow. <laughs> I'm just in great shape. Lung damage, broken limbs, no biggie. You're now the Dragonborn, yes. But they can't call it Dragonborn. It's got to be like um, the Starborn or something like that. It's not immediately obvious. I... Yeah, we're going to test it out on some things. That's a stalker. Hello. I like it. That's cool. I was doing like you did, played side stuff and avoided the main quest, then I did this and I was like, oh, holy shit, and then rushed a few main quests after that. Well, yeah, that's kind of what I'm thinking. I don't want to necessarily avoid the main story anymore. Ever since they revealed that not only is there New Game New Game Plus, but that it randomizes stuff when you do New Game Plus so that you're in kind of like uh, Sliders-esque alternate universes each time you do it, I kind of want to finish the game. <laughs> I, I kind of want to see what the New Game Plus is actually like and what kind of shenanigans we could get up to with it. So, I'm still going to do a lot of side stuff. We're probably going to do a lot more of that stuff than the main. But, we're not going to be necessarily avoiding the main. What the... Okay, I have no idea what that's about. I started mixing in main quests with my th side stuff once I did this because it's awesome. It's great against packs of pirates and stuff. They float helplessly. Yeah, as soon as I saw it was low gravity, I was kind of thinking, well, I mean, you're right. It's not obvious, but that was the first thing that came to my mind.
Get him, Vasco. Okay. Yeah. Main stories going back into rotation for sure. This is really cool. Also, we're back to a uh, four minute warning now. Say your last goodbyes. Still have some work to do on the ship profile, but not bad, I guess. I just want to see the landing animation. Oh. I guess not. Okay, never mind. Oh, I guess I can't fast travel there. That's fine. It's kind of interesting. They seem to make you wait longer in Starfield than they do in Skyrim to give you your power. Or maybe it just feels that way because I went off and did so much side stuff in advance. Maybe if I'd actually just done main story, it would have been pretty quick. Also, let's make sure I quick save here need that locked in and uh, before we go back to the lodge I think I might stop in and get my legs and lungs fixed up a bit I was 65 hours in at least now I'm curious <laughs> uh, I'm just about to hit 173 hours That's true, I do have two saves. You are correct. But it's the first time in either of them that I've actually done it, so I say it counts. The majority of citizens here in New Atlantis count on Reliant Medical. I believe our reputation speaks for itself. Welcome to Reliant. If you're in need of medical assistance or require supplies, I am sure we can accommodate you. I need help, Doc. So, what brings you in today? Everything. Oh, it's a good thing you came in to see me. Yes, it is. Let's get these wounds closed up and get you on the road to recovery. I can't say you won't feel anything, but you'll be better off in the long run. There you are. Right is great. Thank you, sir. Take care of yourself. No promises. The game starts and your friends are all like, oh, wait, your convenience, take your time, there's no dragon attacking town, you just kind of stumble into it. Yeah. Okay, guys. Now that we are healed up, it looks like it's about time for that break, so if you need to get up and grab some food or drinks or snacks or something, I will be back in just a few minutes. Uh, okay, so... I hate fruit cocktail. I guess I'm just escaping then. 
And now I can never show my face in that establishment again. <laughs> I love it when they knock themselves over. Let's not do that again. Oh my god. <laughs> I guess this way it is. Now, where's this other guy? mistake was you showing your face. You've committed crimes against Skyrim and her people, and it's time to face the Jarl's justice. You taste my well, sword! Well, another maggot. I'm not afraid of my <sighs> Not impressed. Thanks, guys. <laughs> Moira's mo- Fuck! Ah. Wow. These guys have been doing strength training with the uh, compies, I see. Dude, it was you or us? I picked us. Okay, I am back. Thank you, Ansara. Yeah, the gravity power reminds me a little of Half-Life 2. It's not quite the same gravity power. But it's close enough that it kind of brings back some of those memories. That's another game series that I think I might have to replay again at some point. It does not quite feel like home, but hopefully someday. We'll get there. Krix's bones. Look at you. If you don't mind, I'm going to start doing some scans. Like, right now. We were right about the anomaly, weren't we? Tip our ears on the tail. 
It was a building, like a temple. Vlad, it gave me powers. Powers! What in the blackest sea are you going on about? What did it do to you? Can I demonstrate? Um, Vladimir, look at these readings. Cardiovascular and neurological levels aren't in the normal range. In fairness, I just sprinted I here. I we're going to need a little demonstration. Mind putting the paces to it? Everyone saw that, right? Like a literal gift from the heavens. And also the most practical consequence of our little venture thus far. Got no old shipwise for this one. Going to just call weird, weird. It was the temple. It did this. So we have artifacts, a temple, and this power. All connected. But we do not understand the connections. We need additional information. Oh wow, and Sarah. Can we find more of them? Already picked one up from the scans. Matches another one of the artifacts we found. In theory, there might be one temple for each. Okay. But sifting through all the signs to identify a match is tricky. Impossible if we don't have the right artifact to compare. And even then, it takes time. I don't care. Just tell me where to go. We're going there right now. I'll follow up on the other anomaly you found. Hopefully it's another temple. Don't think it's just fortune's laugh that this temple responded to you. The artifacts, the visions, this power you've gotten, all seems to be the same song somehow. Plenty to think about. Anyway, catch a smile out there. I'll work on finding planet anomalies that match the other artifacts we have. <laughs> oh. Yeah, uh, I'll take a rain check on that, Sam. I have another power to or another uh, point, don't I? Ah, I can get starship design. Yes. All right, guys. We're off to see the wizard. More powers? Let's go. Yes. Side stuff? What side stuff? I want more fancy magic. Space magic. Side stuff is great, and we'll get back to it, but more cool powers. Yes, exactly. Because now I'm thinking about all the side stuff I've done in my off-stream playthrough, like the mech factory that I talked about a little while back, and how much more fun and much more cool it's going to be to be able to do this crap to them. When talking about the game, I've started going, it's great, you can go all, go all over and do whatever, but, and I don't want to spoil, but you really should do the main story at least for a little bit, you'll see why. I've heard the same thing, that's why I've been kind of working it back in a little. Now I just kind of wish that I'd worked it back in a bit more. In retrospect, it's a lot like getting your first dragon shout, but so much more unexpected, yes. Because 
this presents as a fairly hard sci-fi game. Wait a minute. Oh, what? But what? I mean. Did he not tell me where the next temple is? What the hell, sir? I was counting on you. Fine. We'll go get Barrett. But he'd better give me space powers. Oh, did he? Okay, well, maybe Barrett will have to wait then. Talk to Lynn. What's Lynn doing here? Well, you're back. Oh, this. We will do this. I like this one. Oh, shoot. Wait a minute. Uh, uh, uh. Don't you Lynn me. Hang on. I things had already gone sideways. But no, that was just the beginning. More pirates showed up when you were gone. We weren't as lucky this time. Calvert. Troy. Some of the new Dusties. They didn't make it. We have to check and see if the ship is still here. Well, how could you have? You weren't here. Anyway, I was pinned down behind some crates with Barrett. Bullets and laser fire everywhere. No smile on that damn carefree face of his. Like he knew this was it. I started stealing myself to go out fighting. Then that idiot puts his hand on my shoulder and says, Stay here, Lin. I got you. For some, perhaps. Barrett is quite capable. All things considered. Next thing I know, two of the pirates are dead, and he's got the third one in a headlock. Drags him out into the open at gunpoint and demands to talk, or else I'm going to demonstrate Newton's third law on this guy's temporal lobe. And that's when they brought out Hella. <sighs> I didn't overhear everything. Okay, we've seen this before. Second, and, that's and I need to check if the ship is going. They could have to be there or not, so... Yeah, okay. Sorry, Lynn. We'll be back later. I forgot. But that's why we've got the Mantis, or the whatever it's called, the Razorback. The other ship. It's small. It'll be here. We can do this when we need to. All right. Uh, actually, we don't need to run all the way back. Let's just go to the ship. Okay, let's try faction. Grunt work, no. Burden of proof, deep cover, back to the grind. Nope, miscellaneous, power from beyond. There we go. Oh, we're going back to the Tau Ceti system. Our favorite system. At least it's not the same planet. Scanner anomaly. Huh. 
Hunting Cricket. That doesn't sound so bad. Oh, it's a dinosaur planet. Those are big crickets. That's reasonably light gravity here, too. Wow, these things heal freaking fast. What does that even do? It seems to do nothing when you use it. It causes them to be caught in an intense field of very low gravity, so they float up and are basically helpless. And then you can... Oh my god, what is that? Mayfly Filterer? Nifty. Why is almost all the life on this planet composed of really awful... Oh, jeez, I'm losing track of my scanner anomalies here. Really awful insect stuff, though. That's what I was trying to say. I think I lost it. Oh. That's gotta be this thing. Temple Alpha. Okay, where's the door? more temples. Here are the fancy space rings. I think I lost Andrea. Oh, nope. She found me.
They shouldn't time out so quickly. Here we go. What the hell? Why is there always a dead constructs worker? <laughs> That's so weird. Let me up. There we go. Okay. Now, important business here. Powers. Personal atmosphere. Oxygen pure and clean brought forth to breathe deep and counteract harmful carbon dioxide. Oh, that's really cool. That is really, really cool. It's like a stamina heal, yeah. Which means it's probably going to be my single most used power ever because of how I can conduct myself with regards to, uh, you know, carry capacity <laughs> or lack thereof. And infinite stamina while it's active? Oh, damn. Okay. Did I not do this one already? Oh, wait a minute. Maybe I have to actually... Um, what did I just... They flood you with a few powers initially? Yes. Yes, we're going to take advantage of that. I think I might have accidentally exited the ship. Uh... Where is the ship? Okay, we're good.
Oh my god, you're right. Infinite sprint. Okay, not infinite, but while it's active, you basically have infinite sprint. It doesn't last terribly long, but that's okay. Now, I assume that new blue bar below my health is my ability power bar thingy. Hello. Any adventure you can fly away from. You know you can fill in those black screens on loadings, yes? No, I don't. What do you mean? Hope you've enjoyed your stay here. Well, it only takes, like, half a second, so I'm not too concerned about it, but that's cool. Uh, I do seem to have a little problem there. Oh, it's a different planet. Okay. My ship seems to maybe be gone. Hopefully this is just a localized issue. Uh, this this doesn't seem that great. What's going on, guys? I'm wondering if maybe I should load. Let's see if we've still got that. I guess this is taking a little bit longer, but that's okay. I will probably do more photo mode and stuff like that, but I'm not too worried about it right now. Oh, this is right here. We already had the issue. Shoot. Well, I'm going to bypass it by just going straight here, then. Scanner anomaly. Hopefully it'll bypass. It didn't bypass. Uh, yeah, this, this seems like a bit of a problem. My ship shouldn't be that big. The one in my other save is larger. But I wanted to redesign it a little bit anyway, so maybe it's not a terrible time to do that. How can I be of service, Captain? I'm gonna make a wild guess that it's off somewhere in this direction. Oh, actually, you know what? I'm feeling better about that direction.
Temple Beta location discovered. What was the first one that I encountered? Was it Delta or Gamma? Or something else entirely? Oh, this is different. Ada? Okay. Damn it. This one's... Oh, Jesus. It's playing hardball this time. wondering, if you pick the parents perk, does it automatically include the UC citizenship? No, it does not. You do not inherit citizenship. Again with the dead constructs worker. Power from beyond. Gravity wave. Emit a gravitational force strong enough to propel almost anything or anyone. Okay. Yep, pretty much, Inquietus. That's one example. There are plenty. Now, I'm wondering if that ship out there might be an opportunity to test this new power out.
It's tied to a quest line. Interesting, Cleric. In this playthrough, since I'm having to redo a few levels that I had gotten, I had to redo my Vanguard application. And I absolutely smashed the piloting exam. I defeated every wave. And they told me that my citizenship, I might be able to acquire it within three years instead of the standard 10. That looks like it might be a bounty hunter ship, so we could be in luck. It's hard to tell though. Sometimes those ones are UC ships. Or even Spacer, I guess. Thank you, X-Wing. Oh, that's, yeah, you can also be a citizen by a perk. I forgot about that, honestly. Looks like it could very well be Bounty Hunters. They're kind of beelining for me. Or at least the one guy seems to maybe be. Oh, there's two, three. Yeah, okay, I think it is. Yep. Yep, yep, that's the Bounty Hunters. They just want space friendship? I'm sure that's true. Am I overloaded already? Why am I not surprised? Nope, no rainbow laser. There's no, it, this is not actually technically a rainbow design on the gun, it's the Constellation logo. Which is, I think, five different colors, maybe four or five colors? Four colors. Not seven. I was a UC native in my first build, went to talk to Reality Realty, and she said, nope, I have to be a citizen. Growing up in the UC doesn't cut it. Yeah, okay. Black market antiquities. Trying to take a little too much on. Literally. It's fine, Andrea. If you are free soon, could we talk? Oh, she does the stealthy chameleon thing too. That's awesome.
Installation of improved chip modules. Oh. Wait, what was my... Install... Oh! <laughs> okay, I really have to actually uh, go and edit my ship. What do you know? Uh, let's do weapon engineering then. Since I don't have any points at all in that yet. We have not yet had a moment to talk about what happened to you at that place. T temple? I am not sure what to call it. Do you mean any of the three? time amongst the stars, I have never heard of such a thing. What do you think that place was? It sure didn't look like any culture I've seen or heard of. Nor I. Nor I suspect anyone else who has ever lived. Is that presuming too much? Something Seems reasonable. Too soon to speculate about who built it, but how can we not? After what you experienced, do you have any insights? I'm <laughs> putting my credits on magic pixies. I didn't see a visitor center or pick up a brochure, if that's what you're asking. Maybe there are people out there we've just never met. I suppose it is possible, but. I cannot imagine anyone who could build such a thing. I am sorry. After what you have been through, I should be asking about you. Are you all right? Have you felt any side effects? How's it going, Kellenray? A cynical person might suggest that in itself could be a side effect. But for now, we will just assume you have been very fortunate. The artifacts, that temple, this new ability you have acquired, clearly they are all connected. This is all so much bigger than we realized. This is exactly what Constellation is for, and I'm thrilled to be a part of it. You are right. Now we have even greater reason to press forward, to learn more about what is at work here. Okay. Uh, it's going pretty well, Kellen Ray. It's a good day. I'm tired today. I didn't get nearly enough sleep last night, but it's been a ridiculously fun stream, which really helps a lot. Ah, crap. I, I still don't entirely understand why I can't take these ships. I've got one in my other save that I'm not authorized, even though I've maxed out my piloting and my starship design skills. Now, I had been told I wasn't authorized to fly the ship before I did both of those things. So maybe that's why. But it's annoying as heck because it's just kind of sitting there within sight of my one of my outposts. And I can't take it and it's very annoying. The place I had the appointment for, it gives basic internet service included about 400 megab bits worth, but I can transfer my current high-speed service with a little bit of a feed. Oh, that's awesome, Greeny. It really annoys me that it's so arbitrary what ships you can commandeer. Yeah. You're back in your Odin sleep phase? Oh, boy. Actually, okay, this is really, really cool. Yeah, I suspect I'm about right. That's going to be my single most used power ever.
Just finished dealing with a bug with commandeered ships where even though they were registered, the UC and Firestar would attack me on site and the ramp wouldn't lower? Oh, jeez, Kalinray. I'm sorry about that. I love Kalin's Odin sleep faces. I mean, I do because it helps him, but I don't because I miss him. Fair. Unlurk for a bit, no worries for Zerp. Welcome back. Now comes the fun part, remembering where I parked. Especially because since I'm overburdened, I cannot actually... Oh, shoot. Is it not... Oh. Wow, I got really off course. Hey, Bob. How's it going? You had a quest bug and the entirety of New Atlantis started shooting at you? Oh boy. That's an awkward kind of bug to get. It's always a new iteration. They always improve it and change it and add stuff to it and fix other stuff and fail to fix other stuff. It's just like any engine. But yes, it is a variation on the Fallout 76 engine, I guess, at this point. A vastly updated one by all appearances. Ah, yes, I have played Warframe before. Once, I think. It's not bad. Well, every engine has. Unreal has. Unity has. There's no engine that's immune to it. Engine is just software. All software has bugs. Unity has another issue right now? What's that? License. Oh, the licensing debacle. That's not an engine problem. That's a company problem. That's people. And I believe they've already backtracked on that, have they not? Because it was a stupid idea that they never should have done in the first place. And somehow they got it through committee. Until the committee realized what they were doing and freaked the heck out. Oh, wait, I don't need to do that. Because I have the multi-level bridge, which is awesome.
it's like they said, Wizards of the Coast, hold my beer. And the engines are designed to do certain things. Bioware really struggled manhandling Frostbite into an RPG engine. Yes. Okay, where are we going? I think we're gonna go... We need to do some ship stuff, so let's go... To Narian. No, to Narian. There we go. This somehow is probably the CEO, the guy who literally wanted to force players in a shooting game to pay real money for ammo reloads. Ah, uh, yeah. Okay, that explains an awful lot, actually. <laughs> Welcome to Stroud Edlund Star Yard. Uh oh. Permission to dock granted. Well, it still sounds like it's got a bit of an issue, but at least I can move ish. I'm not moving terribly quickly, though. I think you guys are right. The ship must be a little bit bugged. Which means we definitely need to redesign this thing. This could be a little bit. People are joking that he's finally dethroned Bobby Kotick as the most hated CEO. Uh, yeah, well. People suck. What can you do? But landing at Titan, you got a bug where you were stuck underneath the ship. I think I've actually had that happen once, X-Wing. I wasn't stuck, but I was underneath the ship where I shouldn't have been. This is not an engine problem. This is a bug or a glitch. Oh, uh, but you are probably onto something there. Maybe that's part of the issue. I didn't realize I had so little power allocated. Good to know. Sales are tight. We're docked. Too greedy even for EA. Wow. I find the interior of this ship comforting. Ready to do some business? Absolutely. Okay. What do we need to do? Um, oh, you know what? We came to the wrong place. This has only got the Stroud parts. Where's a good place that has... Let's... Mm, let's... Mm. Okay. Given the stability issues I've had there, it's maybe slightly risky. But we're gonna go to Aquila. Ow. Thank you, X-Wing. Drama's temporary connections with other business scumbags are eternal as long as you continue having money. Undocking complete, Captain. Aquila, they are not Neon, not Poroma, Cheyenne, that's it.
current course while we scan your ship. Wait, what? Oh, right. I just took over the mercenary. Oh, crap. <laughs> Whoops. I forgot. I picked up the black market antiquities on board the uh, mercenary ship, the bounty hunter ship. Be with you in just one moment. Just gotta quickly stash some stuff. Nothing you need to worry about. There you go. Scan away, folks. Free Star Collective Space. Maintain your current course while we scan for contraband. Really? Wow. Okay. I have a shielded cargo hold and a scan jammer, yes. Not a very good scan jammer, but a little bit of a scan jammer. This is Free Star Collective Space. Hold while we scan your ship. Alright, you're good. Welcome to Aquila City. There we are. Oh, less than a minute until ads begin. We'll be taking uh, what is likely to be our last break of the afternoon in just a moment. Okay, so would another way to describe poutine basically be a fresh root vegetable salad with beef vinaigrette and cheese croutons? No, it's not cheese. Not if you're doing it properly. It's cheese curds. But otherwise, yes, that would be a great description that I like very much, actually. That sounds delicious. And I could really go for poutine now. Uh, but I will be back in a few minutes, guys, if you need to get up and grab some food like poutine. Or a drink or a snack or something, this would be a really good time to do it, and I'll meet you back here in just a few. Rick the door technician? What? <laughs> Boss defeated. <laughs> At least he's enclosed. <laughs> Oh my god, we get the Battle of the Titans. It's the T-Rex versus the uh, Triceratops. At least until T-Rex gets tranked. These guys have got a hell of a show. You live alone with this droid. He is a personal assistance droid. My husband was a genius at constructing droids. He made this one capable of taking care of me for the rest of my life. As the last legacy of my husband, for my own personal ease of mind, I need him back. His absence gnaws at me like a gaping wound. Wow, she really misses her droid, doesn't she? Please. <laughs> Ow! Damn it! Oh no! I don't like your attitude. I'd better teach you a lesson while I bleed slowly to death right in front of you. This is gonna go great. Those bounty hunters are going to take me away and kill me. My wife warned me not to take a loan from Tavik. Now I can't pay him back. It's not good to owe a crime lord me. Did you freaking die already? Oh, you're the alpha. Okay. What? 
Wow. Something terrible has happened. I finally proposed to Elaine. Congratulations. That doesn't sound so ter- And when I placed the engagement ring on her hand, she was placed under a horrible pirate curse and trapped for eternity as a solid gold statue. Oh, that explains it. I was struck with a wave of overwhelming hatred and anger. Yeah, that LeChuck was a pretty mean guy. I was talking about Elaine. <laughs> no, there's no time to worry about that now. We have to hurry. Do not panic, Guybrush. She will be safe until we can break the curse. You only have to worry about her being stolen. Where did you hide her? Hide her? Hide her? You didn't hide her? She's a solid gold statue on an island full of pirates. What were you thinking? Go, Guybrush, hurry before you're too late. Oh my god. That's <laughs> I'm in danger. You're not kidding. That's a zombie horde. Where are they going? They're hoarding this way. Yeah, uh, we're not doing this right now. Okay, I'm back. But they're definitely variants. Yeah. Oh, crap. <laughs> My game recently just really does not like Aquila City. That wasted no time completely bombing out. I don't know what it is. Thank you, Anstara. Thank you, Kellen Ray. Thank you, Bob. Fingers crossed. Anything I need some work done? Yep. Okay, no problem. All right. I don't like these. I'm not sure I care for these either. So let's get rid of those and figure out what we can do here. That's not bad. Could also work there, although it's going to look a little weird having them side by side like that, I think.
Actually, I wonder if that might be... Let me try something. You know, actually, that's not bad. I might like that, actually. If I move those over there, I can put that there, and then I can do away with this thing. Oh, I forgot to get rid of that Nova Galactic. Let's put in a Stroud, oop, not structural, ab, a uh, Stroud companion way. a little unbalanced, but we can maybe fix that. something. Yep, same X-Wing, same. I guess I'm going to have to have something in here because these engines can't remain unmounted to anything. I'll worry about that in a minute.
think I like that better. I just heard a rumor that some Microsoft documents point to Fallout 3. Oh, Fallout 3 as well? I knew about Oblivion. Fallout 3 is interesting. I would play the hell out of that if they remaster it. That's exciting. I had actually meant to bring that up again because I wasn't sure that Greeny had heard about it. Your sides almost look like Battlestar Galactica landing bay pods. I, I like that quite a bit, actually. That's very cool. I need to do something in here. Never got into Fallout 3 even though I wanted to because I was brought into the franchise with Fallout 4 and 3 looked a little too dated already. I played Fallout 3 when it was new. Yeah, Fallout 3 was wonderful. But it's been very difficult to try and play on modern systems, unfortunately. You like three more than four? I mean, fair. I've upped my skill. Let's take a look at these. The reactor, I can do 20. What is it I've got? 360 T Stellarator. can replace that if that's the best option it looks like it is Fewer things bugging me about outposts being attacked. That never bothered me too much. But I can definitely see how it might bother others. Ah, good. We can upgrade to the Stormax 60s. I 
actually, I don't think that's going to work. Are these... They're not going to be able to attach to that, are they? Put those there. Feels like something's missing in there. What's the error? Oh. Oh, wow. I really bumped up the price of the ship, didn't I? Maybe we only go with a couple of those. Oof. Okay, maybe we undo a few changes. go wrong with the pricing. Something I did right here just... Oh! <laughs> I didn't account for the price of the new... Yeah, the new... Yeah, okay. That new drive was quite expensive. Of the bits I've played of 3 and 4, I also like 3 more, but Fallout has never been my favorite series to play. That's fair. 4 will be my favorite for a very long time. At least of the Fallout series. Unattached modules. Right, oh, that would be the engine down here. see if this works. I'm not convinced it will. I don't know if that's going to support these or not. Oh, you know what? It might. I think it just might. One warning. Okay. But not an error. So I think that works. Hmm. 
Really? New Vegas? That's a very popular opinion. Mine is a lot less popular. I'm actually not very fond of New Vegas. I could not get into it. But that's entirely a me thing and uh, should not reflect what anybody else should or should not think about the game. There we go. I think it's shaping up okay. Have you ever had craft dinner and hamburger? That's an interesting question, Ben Fleet. Do you mean with hamburger meat mixed into the craft dinner or just a hamburger on the side? Because I think the answer is probably yes both ways, but I'm not sure about the hamburger mixed in. I want to say I've had that, but I'm not 100% certain. The first one? Okay. Uh, yeah, I believe I have. I believe I have. Okay, I think that's looking all right. Craft dinner with lobster? No. You don't even have to bother asking it if, if it involves any sort of seafood. I will not touch it. I don't even want to be in the same room as it. The smell is enough to make me vomit. There we go, Starship Design. Next time I level, I will be able to take level two. I have no idea if it's common or not for Zerp. It's not something I would ever think about, let alone try. should never visit Newfoundland? Yeah. Caesar dressing, does that count though, Greeny? I mean, I guess technically it has to, but do you really consider that to be a seafood thing? Captain, greetings. Whew. Always a satisfying moment to return to your ship. Yes, I like Worcestershire sauce. The important thing is that whether it's got anchovies or not, I cannot taste the seafood flavor in it. Therefore, it's okay. Achieving orbit now. Okay, so where are we now? Missions. Power from beyond. Talk to Vladimir to locate temples. Um, let's go do this one. I wanted to do a little bit of the Free Star Ranger stuff. Oh. Or maybe I just don't have to leave. Maybe we're right here. I don't know how to answer that in Quietus. The question doesn't make sense to me. I just don't taste them. It's not that I actively avoid it. I just don't. I don't know what that, you know, the, there's no effort involved. It's masked or covered by all the other flavors and I just don't taste the seafood flavor, which would otherwise make me vomit if I did. Yes, you can, Bob, but you barely get anything for them, so it's not really worth it. I just use them as a source for other ships to keep in my inventory. You have a nice day now. Oh. Am I overloaded again? 
Yeah, but not too badly. Let's maybe detour slightly then. Also... Considering how many other ingredients there are, much of that flavor is blended in. Yeah, and I wouldn't know it to authority? begin with. The trade I... authority looks to partner with local governments to find mutually... Got it. Okay. Yeah, I wouldn't... I've never just eaten an anchovy, so I wouldn't know what to focus on to try to separate out the flavor, even if I were so inclined to try it. Uh, but I wouldn't want to do that anyway, so, you know, that's fine. So I wouldn't have, like, a mental filter to tell me, oh, yes, I taste anchovies, because I don't know what anchovies taste like. Oh, it's probably more resources again. Shoot. But I do have excess weapons. I can get rid of that. And that, and that, and that, and not that, but that. And those. One moment, guys. Okay, that'll do. It's like mushrooms for me. Can't stand them. Well, there's one type, but if it's blended in so much that I cannot taste them, I'd be fine. Yeah, olives too. Interesting. I can tolerate both mushrooms and olives, though I don't really like them. Just had a thought. What if you were able to sell ships without registering them? You'd make a lot more money. Maybe if you could sell to criminal groups. Oh, you know, that's interesting, Anstara. I never thought about that. I always did, just did the registration thing. It's not so much that you don't get anything for them. It's that you don't net a lot of profit off them because you do have to pay that registration. There is a whole thing where you can join the Crimson Pirates either as, uh, you know, a double agent or you can try to join them legit. I wouldn't be surprised if that's the key to selling ships at a profit. But I haven't heard anything about it one way or the other. Because the big issue is that the cost of registering a captured ship is like 90% of the sale price, so like Gord said, it's barely worth it. But if you don't have to register, I can't imagine the Crimson Fleet. Yeah, exactly, Anstara. I'm weird. I'm a chef that hates mushrooms and olives and only eats seafood in terms of meats. I mean, that's not that weird, is it? Chefs are people, too. They have their quirks and idiosyncrasies and preferences with food. You know, I don't particularly like mushrooms, but I really... For me, it's a texture thing. If you, like, make a mushroom-based sauce or something like that, I absolutely love it. The flavor's great. I just can't stand the texture of, you know, having, you know, very thin-cut mushroom on pizza is fine, but thicker cuts or, like, half or whole mushrooms in a salad? No, forget that. Well, hey Not there. happening. You've got potential. Just need to see a little more from you. Oh, you're back. How'd it go? It went. Hope I help make the Freestar Collective a little bit safer. 
I'm sure you did. And I'm glad to know that was your priority. You did what I asked, so let's go meet the marshal. Follow me. Well, it's kind of, yeah, it's kind of the same, like, um, certain soft cheeses have that same sort of texture, and tofu's got the it, and I don't tend to be fond of any of those things. We also have remote stations throughout Free Star Collective Space. Helps us to identify and respond to threats. Uh, you don't know about Flan. Like I, before, I don't know if I've ever had it. And all, and we operate with limited resources. Thankfully, most people respect us and are willing to cooperate. In this job, your eyes, ears, and wits are every bit as important as your badge and your sidearm. Slimy creme brulee. Oh, I'd probably be okay with that, actually. That's like a custard. You got guts. No doubt about that. Emma. I take it you're here because you're satisfied that our new recruit can handle the job. Seems like a fine candidate got the right priorities. All right, then. Step forward, recruit. Let me have a word with you. I've got just one question. What's that, sir? Do you pledge to defend the people of the Free Star Collective, even if it means risking your own life? Sure. What the heck? Good. Here, take these. You're now a Free Star Ranger deputy. I'm assigning you to Ranger Wilcox for some field training. Listen good to what she tells you. Welcome aboard, deputy. That's Goodbye. magical, Free Star Ranger. Thank you. Wish we could throw you a welcome party, but there's work to do. We got word from a farmer on Montero Luna. She says someone's trying to take her farm, and she's afraid she might be in danger. Do we know anything about the farmer? Just the name. Michaela Wagner. There have been Wagoners on Montero Luna for a long time, and I'm sure they're proud of that heritage. What can you tell me about Montero Luna? Well, it's a moon that orbits Montero. It's got a breathable atmosphere, warm climate, and good soil for growing. Sounds simple enough. Well, most things do at the start. Doesn't mean they stay that way. Fair. That being said, best not to assume anything. Just try to keep an open mind. Grab any supplies you might need, and let's get going. Oh, I remember this mission. What Ranger Wilcox tells you. <laughs> In my off-stream game, I took this mission. Emma Wilcox there joined me as kind of a companion. Then I just took off and did a whole bunch of the uh, the UC Vanguard missions. And she just came along and helped beat everything up, but she wasn't armed. Sooner we get to Montero Luna, see you. So she basically helped me out with the free, with the uh, the Vanguard stuff for ages until I got around to it and went back and did the uh, mission I was actually supposed to do with her. These rangers are some hard-blooded folk. They ain't afraid of anything. How do I get back downstairs again? Ah, here we go. Flan is a typically Latin dish dessert type from Mexico and further south. On that note, however, you must be off. Yeah, I gotta get going soon myself. A year or two back, I shared a drink with Ron Hope. Have a great night, Greenie. It was good seeing you. The rock is surprisingly well fortified. The early settlers here were quite practical. Oh. All right, let's see if we can get out of here without another game crash. I don't know what it is about this place or why it started recently. Maybe the game updated it or something. jinx it and say anything, so I'm just going to keep my mouth shut. Okay. 
Any adventure you can fly away from. Is, is that how the saying goes? Yep, that's about right. Lift off complete. Let's go. Yeah, that's about accurate and quietus. It's kind of your Firefly slash Serenity area of the game. Wish I could spend more time in the cities and much less just looking around them, really? Kind of like Boston and Fallout 4, maybe? These are the boring bits. Interesting. Welcome to the Freestar Collective. Please maintain your current course while we scan your ship. Oh, sh <laughs> I forgot to sell the contraband. Scan complete. You're clear to land. <laughs> That's okay. I will worry about it later. We got away with it. We'll just hit up the den later or something. Wagoner Farm. Over here. The Free Star Rangers. You have no idea how happy I am to see you. I'm Ranger Emma Wilcox. My deputy and I are here to help. Now, tell us what happened. I was out planting in the fields when I saw some men approaching. They looked like soldiers with uniforms and weapons and such. They wanted to buy the farm. Didn't even ask if it was for sale. Their offer was so low, I told them right where they could stick it. They said they'd give me time to think about it, but if I didn't change my mind, I was going to regret it. Then they left. Oh, the den absolutely takes contraband. So does New Atlantis and Neon and Tequila City and basically anywhere large enough to have a trade authority station. I mean, not the kiosks. The little kiosks you get at the starport will not do it. But if there's like a storefront with an actual person in there, they will always buy contraband, provided they've got the money to do so. Uh, let's see. You said they looked like soldiers. That's right. The uniforms looked like the ones worn by Free Star soldiers back during the war. They had a certain steel in their eyes. Like men who are used to violence. I was in fear for my life. Any reason why someone might want this farm in particular? Nothing I can think of, no. Truth is, we're in some hard times here. The last harvest was the worst we've had in a long time. Besides, it ain't like there's a lack of available land around here. How many men were there? There were four, but when they were walking away, I heard them talking like there were others. Maybe there's more out there. If they're planning to come back, they must be somewhere nearby. Back behind the house, there's some canyons. They went that way. That place is dangerous. Steep slopes, narrow trails, rock slides, and all manner of hostile creatures, too. If you're going after those men, be careful. Oh, there's one other thing. They said they were the first. The first of what, I'm not sure. There must be more of them coming. Thank you, ma'am. That should be enough for us to find these men. All right, deputy. Keep that weapon handy and your eyes sharp. Okay. Since these guys don't know we're after them, they're probably not making an effort to hide their tracks. Now, let's go and check out those canyons. We are in your hands now, deputy. That's the idea. 
I am going to save right here because we are getting on towards 6.30 and I need to take care of dinner stuff. So, let's see what we can do. I don't think I've ever actually sold anything at the Red Mile. I go there to get the smuggling stuff for my ship and that's about it. I didn't even know they had a proper trader. Interesting. Oh, where are we? I need my list of awesome people we can potentially throw a raid to. Thank you guys so much for an awesome stream today. It's been really fun, despite being out of it. Maybe slightly because of that. It's hard to say. Let's see what's going on. Uh, if you want some more Starfield, Laxative Legacy is on. He's playing some Starfield. We could check him out. Looks like we've got... Ah, uh, Greeny is on. He's playing some Baldur's Gate 3. Always love to go raid Greeny. Um, Tracy Cola, also playing Baldur's Gate 3. It's been a while since we checked her out. Elspeth is on. I'm not certain. Oh, I think she's playing Baldur's Gate 3 as well. It looks like the interface. She's under just chatting, though. I think she must have forgotten to change her her uh, category. Tibbs is still on. Oh, okay, guys, we have to go to Tibbs. Tibbic is on, and it's her birthday stream, and she's playing Baldur's Gate 3. So that's settled. We're going to Tibbs. Thanks for streaming. It was great to chill here. Thank you, Cleric. Thank you, Instara. Oh, there's a, there's a bartender. Got it, Guardian. Hang on. Hang on. I'm just loading up her stream to make sure she's not about to wrap up. But it looks like she is still actively playing, so I think we're okay. Yeah, I was going to lean towards Greenie until I saw that Tibbs' birthday stream is today. We have to go visit her. Let's see what she's up to. Tibbs is a good friend of the channel. We've known her a while now. So we're going to go see how Baldur's Gate is going. I think I recognize the area she's in, maybe. I think she might be doing the monastery where the crash is, but I'm not 100% certain. So uh, let's go see how her game is going and see what's going on. And I will catch you guys again on Friday, unless I do uh, you know, an, another bonus stream and... a. Despite being really tired, I am actually kind of thinking maybe of doing one tonight. We'll have to see how it goes. But regardless, you know it's going to be a good time. So let's get over there. Oh, oh, damn it. You know what? We might have to go visit Greeny after all. Uh, it looks like Tibbs is ending right now, unfortunately. Uh, well, I tried. Let's get Greeny loaded up here, and we'll see what's going on with him. Yeah, she did. She's closing up. So let's go raid Greeny, Trini, and we'll see how his Baldur's Gate game is going. I probably won't be able to stick around too much because he is getting awfully close to the end game, and I'm still in Act 2, but uh, we'll, we'll see what's going on and how we can deal with that. So uh, let's get over to Greeny's channel and I will see you guys again soon. Maybe tonight. If not tonight, if I'm too tired for tonight, then I will almost certainly do a bonus stream tomorrow. So whatever it ends up being. I will see you guys again soon. Thank you so much for an amazing stream. Thank you very, very much for the throne gift. I'm really looking forward to that Imperial shuttle build. That's going to be a lot of fun. So uh, thank you guys. And let me get you the raid call. 
Here at the Library of Lore, we use Shh, it's a library raid. You've been bookmarked with the heart emote and the wave emote of the channel. If you are a sub, if you're not a sub, you can use the Twitch raid and the Tomb raid emote. In either event, soon or uh, in either case, sub or non sub, please feel free to use any emote you feel is fun and appropriate for a raid. If you've got emotes of your own, or maybe from Twitch or another streamer, feel free to copy the raid message, arrange the emotes you want to use the way you want them to appear. It'll all be good in my book. So let's get over to Greeny's channel, see what's happening with him and his stream and his game, and I will catch you again um, very very soon so have yourselves a wonderful rest of your night day evening whatever it is where you are in the world and I'll see you again when I see you bye for now